uh, to be full bore roundy round after that. So uh, if you're wondering what's going on, there's what's going on. We uh, take care of the TT heat races and uh, move on into the mains, and uh, then we'll start the two-wheeled uh, uh, part of the uh, show here tonight. So uh, that's the way it is now. So once again, let's go ahead and get them up. Looks like all flagmen are in place. Let's go ahead and get the open quad. Open quad TT heat number one. Let's get them up to the line. All right. All right, folks, up uh, we're waiting for Dustin Beatty here, rider number two out of Marco Island, Florida. Trey Warner is here on the number three machine. Caleb Beatty on the number 11. And Jeremy Lanier on the 813 machine. Seems like I recognize some of these Beatties from maybe he's doing a little bit of uh, motocross on those quads. But I'm 60-plus years old. It's probably just a faded memory. All right, here we go. Southern Dirt Track Association night here at the Bull Ring, Marion County Speedway. Heat racing action about to get underway for you. Check one, two. All right, folks. Once again, pretty excited about this new TT track we've got ready to go here. A lot more racing area. We should be good. We're holding them at the line for some reason. Let's see here. Maybe we're double-checking some placement of some of these. Uh, there you go. That's what I thought. All right, folks, had to move a couple of cones out of the way. Looks like it was a little bit too tight down there in turn number one. Now we're ready to get rolling here. Open quad TT. 813 gets the whole shot, but number two goes down low. It's the two quad of Dustin Beatty. As they come into the infield section, right number 813 retakes the lead. Jeremy Lanier up at the point on the Honda. TRX 250R, the two-stroke showed his way around there. Here comes Lanier through the center point of the racetrack. Over the jump that used to be in the other direction. They're hard on the miners. They work their way around the right-hander. Still in the infield section of the track. Now it's time to get on the outside of the track. They're loving that. Okay, here we go. First practice, test round. Now we're ready to go. Racing for the real here. All right. Let's see if Lanier can do that come race time. All right, we're ready to go racing for real now. Let's see if Dustin Beatty gets another hole shot. He does, right at number two. <laughs> Dustin Beatty leads him into the infield, coming out of the one, down the back straightaway there over the little jump. Now a nice little tight left-hander here. Everybody staying down low, working their way through the center part of the racetrack. Over the jump they go, headed toward that hairpin right-hander. Still, it's right at number two, Dustin Beatty. Second place is the three quad of Trey Warner. And in the third spot, it's rider number 11, Caleb Beatty. Working the way into the infield, it's still the blue machine of Dustin Beatty, the Marco Island, Florida rider. Number two, starting to stretch that lead out. All right, number two also on a two stroke. Maybe these two strokes kind of like in this tighter infield section. A TRX 250R. 
showed them how it's done there. It's still the two of Dustin Beatty and the three of Trey Warner. Caleb Beatty back there to third place and right at number eight, 13, Jeremy Lanier holding down the fourth spot. Beatty hard on the gas, working his way to the main straightaway here on the big track. Catching them cogs as they come out of the infield. It's still Beatty, the Dustin Beatty machine. Marco Allen, Florida rider doing a great job out there for you. Going to keep an eye on that second place battle. Trey Warner and Caleb Beatty out there racing hard for you. Work of the leaderboard as laps start to wind. That looks like a couple left here in the books for Dustin Beatty, the number two quad leading this one in that second spot. Last time by it was Trey Warner on the number three, and just behind him was the 11 of Caleb Beatty. White flags in the air, one to go for Dustin Beatty, the 40-year-old rider out of Marco Island, Florida on the Honda TRX 250R. A little bit of two-stroke domination here in the first uh, stages here of the TT Racing here at the Open Quad Class. And Dustin Beatty gonna win Open Quad Heat number one. Second place is going to go to Trey Warner. Third to Caleb Beatty. Fourth place is going to go to Jeremy Lanier. All right, great run there. Way to get things started here at the Bull Ring tonight. Open quad TT heat number two coming up for you. Jeff Sin coming up on the line there out of Dade City, Florida on the number five machine. Eric Rice is in the house out of McClinney, Florida on the 87. Johnny Vance on the 111 out of Rockledge, Florida. And Kenny Bullington, right at number 229, also in the house. So we're going to roll up open quad TT heat number two for you. All right, let's see if they take me out again. So we're gonna call this warm-up lap here.
right, checking the leaderboard. Looks like the number 87 machine leading Eric Rice out of McClendy, Florida. It looks like the 229 of Bullington in that second spot there on the blue Honda. And in the third spot is rider number five, Jeff Sim, the Dade City, Florida rider. All right, leaders. Whoa, got a high side here. Got too good of a bike coming out of that left hander at the old Honda high side of him. So we got us a red flag. We're gonna take a look, make sure that rider's okay. All right, got us a red flag here. We're gonna make sure once again our rider's gonna be okay. We uh, managed to knock out a couple laps there. But a pretty, pretty tough, uh, tough spill coming there out of turn two. Uh, I do believe that was the number five machine. We'll uh, double check that, Jeff Sim. But uh, either way, regardless, we want to make sure everything's okay here. And, and, uh, and this rider's going to be up and, and steady. Looks like uh, they're getting him up to his feet there is a good sign. So we'll resume this race for you in just a second. Obviously, safety first here at the bull ring. Check one. All right, just like the motorcycle family, we got the quad family. All of his uh, competitors over there uh, helping him, making sure the bike's up and okay. By the way, the rider is up and okay. Just banged his knee a little bit there. And uh, we're going to do a restart here. Looks like everything's back in condition. They're doing a little bit of, of maintenance there or a little bit of work on the bike that, uh, or the quad that took the spill. I saw a 10 millimeter go out there, so they could be working on eight, 18 million different things with a 10 millimeter. So, hey, you guys know. The good thing is they found it. All 
All right, looks like we're up and rolling here. Okay, let's try this one more time. All right, Jake, that was 229. Kenny Bullington took the spill there. My apologies to the five team. But Kenny there up and ready to go. So, uh, yeah, big hand goes out to a Kenny Bullington, tough guy. Running up, rider number 229. Let's see if he can get back here and catch the field. Looks like we're going to do a staggered start, possibly. Check one, check. All right, we're about ready to get underway here. Heat number two, part two, coming up for you. All right, back in action, rider number 87 takes the whole shot. That's Eric Rice, McClenny, Florida rider, tied to take over right where he left off. And look at the blue machine. That's Kenny Bullington on the 229, the blue machine running in third spot. He was just on the dirt a few minutes ago, and now he's back in the game. Back to the front is still right number 87, Eric Rice. And Eric's got some company on the inside. Things are starting to tighten up. Right at number five, Jeff Sin. Jeff Sin takes a look at the inside. Let's see if he can make it stick. He does. New leader, rider number five. Sin takes control out of the uh, when, when he, right when they came into the infield. Work at the center part of the racetrack over the little step up jump there. Still, it's the number five of Sin. Jeff Sin, Dade City, Florida rider, now at the point. Check out the battle for second place. Rider number 229, Kenny Bugton, your third place rider, trying to get up there and put a little bit of heat on that second place machine of Eric Rice on the 87. Leaders coming out of the uh, north end of the racetrack over there. Now to the center part of the section. Around the hard. It's almost like a hairpin right through here. Oh, and a big lead there. Rider number five. Got a bunch, a bunch of distance on those cats coming out of that hairpin. Turn meanwhile back to the main part of the racetrack. Riders diving down into the center part of the racetrack. Good looking TT race got going on here, folks, for you. All right, rider number five still is looking solid out there. Jeff Sin takes the white flag. Battle for a second, starting to heat up still. It's Bullington in that third spot, trying to put some pressure on 87 Rice. Leader working his way through the center part of the racetrack for the final time. Jeff Sin out of Dade City, Florida on the number five machine, looking to bring home the checkers. And here he comes out of the final turn, wheeling across the start finish line. A great finish there. Jeff Sin wins it. Second place goes to the number 87 of Eric Rice. And third place to Kenny Bullington. Fourth place goes out to rider number 111, Johnny Vance. All right. All right, next up, we got the Pee Wee Youth TT. That's heat number one for those cats. Trent Rivera is coming up on the 3R. Jordan Getz on the 10. Hayden LaBoy on the 21. Christopher Akai is on the 85. And Brody Hansen on the number 99. Go comb your hair. Just kidding, baby. You're a handsome fella, no doubt, no doubt.
All right, once again, Pee Wee and the Youth TT coming up for you. Kind of a mixed bag. Trenton Rivera is up there on the 3R. That looks like a Suzuki RM80. Rider number 10 out there, Jordan Getz. That looks like a KX85. 99 looks like he's on a CR85. Hey, Lamar out there on a four-stroke Honda. Looks like we got a KTM in the mix. So the whole world well represented here today. All right, looks like we're ready to go. Race three, heat number one. All right. Got a couple runners here. Back to the penalty box. Sometimes that might not be a bad thing. They get through the carnage. All right, let's go racing, folks. All right, top right, right number three yards. Stalls it on the line. Trent Rivera on the Suzuki. All right, had a late starter here. Back to the front leaderboard. It's going to be rider number 124 up at the point. Got some close battling up here for the lead. Looks like rider number 10 trying to get her, uh, grab that lead away. That's Jordan Getz, the Lutz Florida rider. And Jordan does make the move. Rider number 10 now leading this one. And here comes Getz down and take lap number one. The 10, the 7, and the 99 going at it. All right, leaders trying to work their way around the number three R machine of Rivera. Remember, he had problems starting at the line, so he's going to go a lap down, it looks like, here. Meanwhile, it's the 10, the 124, the 7, and the 99. That's how they're running. We need to get our mini 50cc and our 65cc riders up there ready to go. Should be two of you in that staging area down there. Back to the leaderboard, it's Jordan Getz on the number 10 machine. The Kawasaki coming by to take another lap. Comes Hayden Lamar through there on the Honda four stroker. All right, 10 starting to stretch that lead out a little bit. We're gonna watch it battle back here for a second spot. Whoa! Right number three R got his rear wheel caught up in the 99 there, and he took a little ride on the high side. Let's see if they can get a bunch tangled down there. Red flags out. Tough break there. 99 was like, what happened? I, I didn't see that guy.
All right, folks, take a look at the number three R machine. Uh, Trent, uh, Trent Rivera there on the Suzuki. And I went off the high side of it. Looks like they're taking a look at his uh, ankle or knee. So hopefully he's going to be all right. All right, got to get these guys lined back up. There might be a, a stagger start as well. I didn't quite get a lap count on it. I knew we were getting, I think we we're past halfway. Leaderboard was the number 10, Jordan Getz, before we went red. Right number 124 was in that second spot. And in the third position, it looks like it was the 99 of Brody Hansen who just had some problems down there, but there's kind of no harm, no foul on, on, on Brody there. But nonetheless, when you go down, you got to take one step back of the old penalty box there. Check one. All right, we're on the way. Right at number 10, Jordan Getz. And Getz already starting to stretch that lead. Look at Lamar. He got himself a good start there on the 21. Let's see if he can hold down that position. Ninety-nine there in the third place. That's Brody Hansen. And it's the 10, the 21, the 99, and a 124. And hats off to Lamar there on the 121 with a good start. And he's holding his own out there in that second spot as laps are winding down. Remember, this is a restart. So the 10's running away with it, but we've got a big old crowd of riders back here battling for that second spot. The 21, the 99, the 124, and the 7. All stuck together like glue. Looks like we got two laps to go in this one. All right, white flag this time by. It's still the number 10. Jordan Getz in the first place, 21 in the second spot. That's Hayden Labar. Third spot is the number 99 of Brody Hansen. Whoa, the 21 getting a little bit squirrely there. And that kind of slowed the rest of the field down there. And opened the door up a little bit for the 21. So, hey. Labar looking like he might bring home the second spot here. He was looking a little bit sketchy in the first section part of the race, but it looks like he's got this thing a little bit more figured out here. Meanwhile, speaking of somebody who's got it figured out, Jordan Getz, rider number 10, brings home the checkered flag. Rider number 21, going to get the second spot. Third's going to go to 124 and fourth to the, number, to the number 99 machine. Good run there by the 85, Chris Frogheis and Trenton Rivera on the 3R. All right, working the uh, first part of our races here at the uh, Bull Ring. We're live here at Marion County Speedway. We're in 
process of getting race number four started here in our uh, TT uh, section of the racing here. We're going to be looking at the mini 50 uh, through 65 CC riders coming up next for you. Got two riders, Julian Padilla and uh, Nicholas Alcott on the 126. And once again, this is race number four of our TT part of the race here tonight. Want to once again thank everybody for showing up. Looks like I've got a pretty good crowd on hand. A lot of racers there. Saw them parked all the way back to the back gate. So uh, looking forward to a lot of great racing. Already seen a good bit here on this new, uh, newly designed TT track here at the Bull Ring. And uh, I'll tell you what, from the uh, spectator point of view, it sure is a good, nice improvement over the, uh, the one that we had a couple weeks ago. So these guys are really uh, doing everything they can. Brought in some new tr uh, dirt here to the track as well. So got some new clay out there for you. So hats off to all the folks here at the Bull Ring at Barry County Speedway for all the hard work they do. Heck, they even got me a new microphone. Only because I dropped the other one. <clears throat> all right, get them lined up here. We've got one 50cc rider out there, it looks like. That's the number 126, little Nicholas. And I guess a late sign up there, number 17. And we're off and running. Looks like JP got the whole shot there on the number eight machine. Let's see if he can hold on to it. That's Julian Padilla out of Lutz, Florida. Working the front of the pack here for you. All right, around that hard right hair pander there, the ace swings it wide, which forces the 17 to go wide. So uh, it looks like that 17 starting to feel like he needs to be up at the, at the front of the pack here. Let's see how they work it out as they work down the main straightaway here. Into turn number one, diving down to the inside part of the racetrack for you. It's still rider number eight, Julian Padilla. KTM rider, here we go. Check it out, though, 17. Take a look on the outside. No, can't quite get it done. Around the left-hander and out of the left-hander they come. Over the small jump. And this next right-hander is tight. I mean, it's, it's hairpin tight. It's Martinsville tight. But it looks like the eight still holds on to it, so good job out there. And Padilla is starting to stretch that lead a little bit this time. Seventeen closes the gap there on the backside. It seems like through this section here, right number eight seems to stretch it, but right back out and gain, regain his ground loss. Let's see if that's going to be the case this time. Seventeen's a little bit closer. He's looking to the outside, but they eight guarding down low, managed to hold on to the spot. And the 17 swinging way wide out here at the final turns. They come out of the infield part of the sex, uh, racetrack. That's cost him a little bit of time there. Rider number eight, loving that. He's got a lot of real estate between him and the second place rider now. We're talking about Julian Padilla, the Lutz Florida rider on board that KTM 65. All right, check it out. Right number 17 done made the move there. Got tired of following. A little pass there coming out of the uh, center part of the racetrack there for you. Working away there around that little 50cc rider there. Nicholas like, y'all go on. I'll be there. I'll be on a 65 soon. All right, white flag's out for rider number 17. Let's see if the eight can reel him back in. See if JP got something for him. This part of the racetrack that they're on now is the 17 seem to shine a little bit better than the uh, eight. And 17 holding his own this part this time. 
Around that tight right-hander they go. Takes a look over his shoulder, still looking good. Eight close to gap a little bit, but not enough. It's not gonna happen. Rider number 17 brings home the checkered flag. Julian Padilla, rider number eight, comes home in the second spot. And Nicholas Akats on the 126, third place. On his little 50. All right, let's step up the displacement a little bit here for you. What do you say? Open TT heat number one coming up for you. Dave Zyke on the 50. We got Trevor Quayle on the uh, Quagle on the 55. Dominic Davids on the 72. Jacob Coates on the 150. And Joseph Giannato on the 484. All right, let's bring him up. Open TT. Okay, open TT1, what are you guys doing? Having a sandwich? Speaking of sandwiches, make sure you get down to the uh, concession area. They got a lot of good food there for you. And uh, I'm, hoping up there, hoping, I'm hoping they're warming up the coffee. Temperatures start to dip here. You know, and down here in Florida, it gets below 60 degrees. We start shaking. Looking for long johns. Check one, two, check. All right, folks, let's get things going here. Open TT Heat 1, David Zyke, Trevor Coyle, Dominic Davids, Jacob Coates, and Joseph Giannato. That's 72, looked pretty fast in practice. We'll see if he can maintain that speed here in real time. All right, gates down, right number 55 with a hole shot. 72 takes a long look on the outside. That's Dominic Davids on that 72 machine, side by side with a 55. But it's still the 55 holds the spot. Trevor Quayle, ladies and gentlemen, leading this one. Nice side by side battle for the second place there, the two. And then it looks like, let's double check that number. It looks like Coach there on that 150. All right, out of the gates they come. It's the 55, Trevor Quell, second place right number 72, Dominic Davids, and 150, Coach Stalls, that Honda. Tough break, Coach was running pretty solid there, gonna lose lots of time to the leaders. Meanwhile, speaking of the leaders, the 55 in the center part of the racetrack and feeling no pressure out there this time, right number two, trying to get up there, or 72, trying to get up there and close that gap a little bit there. That's Dominic Davis we talked about earlier in the day on the Yamaha. 55, glides are in the turn number one. Down the straightaway with a little jump. All right, still the 55, the Honda CRF doing business out there. That's Quayle, the number 172 of 72 of Dominic Davids in that second spot. Third place now, the 484 of Joseph Giannato. Fourth place going to go to Coates. All right. 
Lab's starting to wind down on this one. Time to make something happen. Okay, we're gonna watch the battle for the third spot. Uh, Jacob Coates, after stalling the Honda on the number 150 machine, he's just about to catch back up to that 484 of Giannato. Let's see if we can make that happen. The 55, the 72, the 484, and the 150. That's how they're running. Okay, Coach has caught that 484 machine, so let's watch that battle for fourth there. Meanwhile, two laps to go for rider number 55 on the Honda, Trevor Quayle. 72 Yamaha, Dominic David still holding that second spot down there for you. And Coach has made the spot there for third, it looks like, made the pass. So move Coates up to the third position on the uh, number 150 Honda. White flags in the air, rider number one, or not, rider number 55, should I say. Trevor Quayle getting it done out here today. All right, here comes the number 55, checkered flag waves for Trevor Quell on the Honda. Second place gonna be the Yamaha, Dominic Davids, number 72. Third place gonna be Coach, Jacob Coates on the number 150. What a squeaky break there. And coming home fourth to 484, Joseph Giannato. Good run there, open TT heat number one. Got another heat for you before we go into the mains, but after this final heat, we are gonna do a little bit of track maintenance. It'll be a great time for you to ease on over and grab you a bite to eat at the concession area. While you're over there, grab me a hot cup of coffee, please. Cream and sugar. Just say it. All right, let's bring up our next contestants here. Open TT heat number two, Jason Beck on the line on the number seven. Shane Britt on the number nine C, the 369, James Rowland. And Daniel Wallace on the number 627. And check out number 50. He just in it because... All right, check it out. Looks like Daniel Wallace. Whoa, second place rider. Goes down there, hit the rear wheel of the 627, and off he went. So Daniel Wallace, your leader, rider number 50 on that fire-breathing Honda. Zyke in the second spot. Number 9C in the third spot, Shane Britt. And there's the 369 after going down. He's got a lot of work to do on that Kawasaki. That's James Rowland we're talking about. All right, Roller makes up one spot. Back to the leaderboard. It's still right number 627 at the point. That's Daniel Wallace. The 627, still hold it. Coming on the main part of the racetrack there for you. Rider number 50, doing a heck of a job. On that Honda XR100, it looks like. Check out rider number 50. And 
Kawasaki rider of James Rowan overtakes that bike, trying to work his way back up to the front. He's now in the second spot, so a good comeback there by rider number 369, James Rowland. After hitting the leader's rear wheel and falling down over here in this hard right hand on the infield part of the racetrack, he's passed the rest of the field, and now he's in that second spot. But laps start to run out on him, starting to lose a little bit of time. Two laps to go for the 627 machine. Daniel Wallace on the Yamaha. Right number 369. Whoa, James Rowland holding on to that second spot. Third place is the Mad Dog, the number 50. He looks like an XR100 out there. And one to go for the 627. Here comes the 369. He's closed the gap a little bit, but I don't know if he's going to have enough time to run down that leader. The leader makes a clean pass on the, uh, the lap rider down there, so uh, that didn't hold him up any. So looking pretty solid there for the 627 of Daniel Wallace on the Yamaha, looking for the flag-to-flag -flag win here in heat number two of the Open TT. And checker flag waves. Daniel Wallace. Whoa, and right number 369. Wait a second. He might not get second. Yeah, he will. Okay. 369 low sides on the final turn there. And right number 50. Just about come up and got him. Good job there by the 50 machine, by the way. Uh, that one of their mad dog bikes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a little bit of a break here while they do a little bit of track maintenance, and uh, we'll get back on uh, back with you on these uh, TT mains. But a little bit of track maintenance in store for you now. I want to easily to grab you a bite to eat, find something hot to drink, or a cold to drink, whatever makes your boat flow. We'll be right back with you in just a few minutes.
Check one, two. All right, folks, I do believe track maintenance is all but complete. So let's go ahead and get ready to do some, uh, some main event racing here. TT style. As soon as they get me some paperwork, we'll get you guys up here. In the meantime, let's get all, all of our flaggers back in their positions because uh, I think we're about ready to go green here in just about two or three more minutes. Check one. All right, folks, the uh, finishing positions for the TT races are posted, so go check out your uh, your finishing order there. They are posted from our heat races. We'll get you lined up here and get ready for the mains.
check one. One replay. Right. Check one, two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's do a little bit of main event racing here for you. TT style on our brand new TT track out here for you at the Bull Ring here at Marion County Speedway. I'm John Vitas, and we're getting ready to get it to hair go and hide out here for you. This is our open quad main event on the line down there. Jeff Sand on the number five machine out of Dade City, Florida. Eric Rice is here, rider number 87 out of McClenney, Florida. Johnny Vance on the number 111 machine out of Rockledge, Florida. He's alongside Kenny Bullington. Kenny Bullington on the Honda. Dustin Beatty's here, the number two machine out of Marco Island, Florida. Trey Warner on the number three machine. And we have Caleb Beatty here, rider number 11 out of Marco Island, Florida. And winding up the field out of the Popka, Florida, rider number 813, Jeremy Lanier. All right, get them all lined up there. Let's take one last look. Looks like everybody's ready to go out here tonight. And we're green. And got a rider start on the line. Meanwhile, the rest of the field works its way to turn number one. It looks like rider number two. Got to double check that. I think it's Dustin Beatty with the lead. Beatty leads him into the inside of the racetrack, and he's already started to gain distance there on the two-stroke. Beatty works his way around the right-hander, that tight right-hander we've been talking about all night. He's been taking some victims, 
but not Beatty. Beatty coming through clean on the number two. It's the five in the second spot, the 229 in the third spot. Right number eight, 13 in fourth. Great start there. Right number two, ladies and gentlemen, Dustin Beatty out of Marco Island, Florida, your leader. Battle start to heat up for second spot. Right number five, Jeff Sims got it. And right number 229, Kenny Bullington wants it. Great racing all over the racetrack here, ladies and gentlemen. What a great way to start it here at the Bull Ring in Marion County. TT Racing at its finest on the brand new racetrack here, rider number two, enjoying life out there is Dustin Beatty, the Marco Island, Florida rider. Him and his son are out here racing tonight. Second place machine is still the hard charger, Jeff Sim, the Dade City, Florida rider. In that third spot, that looks like the number 87 machine. We'll double check that number this time by. Check that, that's the number five. And check it out, we got a new leader. Rider number two, got some company on the outside. Tough right there, second place rider making a move for the lead. He ends up missing a gear and now he's back to fourth. Leaderboard shifting around. It's still number two at the point though. Dustin Beatty. Beatty right behind him is the number five. In the 229, so the five of Jeff Sin still holding his own in the 229, doing a great job out there in the third spot. That's Kenny Bullington we're talking about on the blue quad. Looks like a couple of two strokes out there with a four stroke to be in the meat of the sandwich. These riders start to pull away a little bit from the rest of the pack, so we're going to keep an eye on this first three group here. It's still the number two, the number five, and the 229. Rider number 229 gets a good bite there down low. And he's making a good charge there for the second spot. Can't quite get it done. Down the back straight away they go. It's still rider number two, Dustin Beatty. Battle for second, getting really tight, folks. Watch the five and watch that number five machine. He has got some company back there. It's the 229. Two laps to go to settle this one. Rider number two starting to stretch that lead a little bit. As time is running out for the rest of the field, it's still number five, Jeff Sin, holding down a solid second, but he is being hounded by the number 229 quad of Kenny Bullington. White flags out, one to go for your leader, Dustin Beatty. Jeff Sin and 229 of Kenny Bullington still going at it hard there for a second. Rider number two coming, working the inside part of the racetrack for the final time around that right hand or that hairpin. Whoa, and look at number 229, muscle his way in the second spot. It's the two going to win it, the 229 second, and number five, Jeff Sin in the third spot. Congratulations goes out to rider number two, Dustin Beatty. But my goodness, what a move there by rider number 229, Kenny Bullington, squeezing that machine in there, overtaking Jeff Sin for the second spot. All right, that's the way to get things started out here. Good racing, ladies and gentlemen, all over the racetrack for you. Once again, congratulations, Dustin Beatty. What a, what a great ride there by the number two machine, as well as the 229 of Bullington and that number five of Jeff Sin. And Dustin Beatty going to take him a victory lap on the two-stroke. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give these folks a big hand. What a great race. What a great way to get things started here tonight here at the Bull Ring. Quad, open quad TT. Fine finish there. Rider number two, Dustin Beatty, your winner. Rider number 229, Kenny Bullington, with a great late race move there to grab second. And Jeff Sin rode his heart out all night long. Comes home in the third spot on that number five machine.
All right, going to bring up uh, youth class here for you. Trent Rivera on the 3R coming at you. Jordan Getz on the number 10. Hayden LaBar on the number 21. Hayden had a good heat race out there. Christopher Arkheitz on the 85. And Brody Hansen on that number 99 machine. Okay, open quads in the book. Great show our quads put on for us tonight. And I want to tilt the hat one more time, if I could, to your quad riders as well as all the other riders. But a great show up here by the, uh, tonight by the four-wheel crowd. Glad to have you guys here. Thanks a lot. All right, let's go racing here. Race number two. And Hayden Lamar, probably not a very happy camper with himself right now. That's okay, Hayden. Let's see what you got. All right, we're racing. Number 10 machine gets the whole shot, it looks like. Jordan gets. So let's see if Getz gets him. Down the back straightaway, he does. Second place is the 124 machine. All right, coming out of turn, the final turn out of the infield, Jordan Getz with the lead, right number 124 in that second spot. In the third spot, that check that number. It looked like it was the uh, number 21, or check that, the 85. Double check that number coming by. Anyway, up at the front of the pack, Jordan Getz, my goodness, he's already stretching it out a long way out there. We're going to watch the battle here for a second between the number 124 machine. That's a KTM. And that looks like the number seven giving chase out there. Okay, checking once again the leader, number 10, Jordan Getz. Going to look a little bit further back in the crowd, the 124. They're holding on to that uh, second spot, number 7, in the third position out there for you. Number 21, after a jump start, Hayden Labar has now moved up a, a couple of spots. I think we got him in the fourth. Check that, maybe the fifth spot, fourth spot it is. No, Labar up in that fourth spot, double checking that. I'll get my numbers right. Meanwhile, lap starting to wind down on this one. As a matter of fact, I think the leader might get the... Uh, the two to go next time, but I will double check that. Halfway flag coming out for rider number 10, Jordan Getz. Young Kawasaki rider just from down the road in Lutz, Florida. Showing some muscle out here tonight. Meanwhile, Hayden Labar trying to get up there and get in that little battle for second place up there. He's still got a long way to go. As a matter of fact, he's got a little bit of camp company back there behind him. That's Hanson. And there goes the number three, R. Suzuki. Trenton Rivera rolls through there. Battle for second still. Let's keep an eye on that one, folks. It's kind of tight there is the number 10. He's starting to put some distance between him and the rest of the field. But the 124 and the seven, they're racing pretty close out there for you. All right, two to go for the 10. Jordan Getz looking for that flag-to-flag -flag victory here on the Kawasaki KX85. Or 65. And tough break there for Hanson on the 99. Looks like he stepped off there. Around this right hander has been getting a lot of people. Meanwhile, white flag waves for your leader, Jordan Guest, with one to go. Tough break there for the 99 of Hanson. He's trying to get back in the game. Hayden Labar. 
doing his best to catch up with the rest of that crowd too. Very upset with himself after a jump start. And that already put, that put him at a disadvantage immediately. So he's done well to fight back past a couple of riders and looking pretty solid in the fourth place. But looking solid in the first place, it's Jordan Getz, rider number 10, gonna bring home the victory. Rider number 124 gonna get the second spot and the seven comes home in third. Fourth place is going to be the 21, Hayden Labar. And looks like fifth is going to be Hanson, and sixth is going to go out to Trenton Rivera. Good race there, race number two in the books. All right, once again, congratulations goes out to Jordan Getz on that last main event win out there for you. Guess what? We've got another one coming up here for you. This is our Pee Wee race. And look at the start there by that PW50. I know those other guys are faster, but great start there. We're going to have to give the, we're going to have to give the great start award to, uh, to uh, number eight machine out there, or the 126 our cats. All right, folks, a little bit of a mixture of bikes here, as you can see. Uh, multiple displacements. The, uh, the leaders are out there on 65 CC machines, it appears. And a third place rider out there doing a brave job. He is on a uh, Yamaha PW50. That's one of the uh, pretty much the first bike that uh, kids ride these days. We had the old beat up mini bikes and the, with the lawnmower motors and stuff, remember? But uh, they've come a long way there. And a uh, little guy there on that 50 doing a great job out here. We've seen him race real hard with the big fellas on some of those high-performance 50s and do a great job as well. We're talking about rider number 126 there. That's Nicholas Acats, if I'm saying that right. Padilla coming through there looking solid on his little KTM getting a halfway flag. Two laps to go. 
Julian Padilla and his mighty KTM hold on to the lead. It's looking pretty solid. Do you work his way over, still in the center part of the racetrack there for you? Working his way around that hard right hairpin. And a white flag waves. JP on the number eight, getting it done out here tonight. And right at number eight, going to bring home the checkers. Good job there by Julian Padilla. Good job there by the 17 machine. And here comes the number 126 of little Nicholas. All right, Benny, 50 slash 65 CC winners coming in there for you. Good job there. Number eight on the KTM. 17 Kawasaki comes home second. And let's give it up to little Nicholas Acats. Y'all need to come tell me how to pronounce his name, by the way. Acats, sounds good to me. Looks good. Anyway, Nicholas sure looking good out there on that 126. Brings home third. Check one, two, three. All right, we're going to pick up the horsepower a little bit here for you. Open TT main event coming up. First person to the line, rider number 55, and he has been fast all night long, ladies and gentlemen. We're talking about Trevor Quayle. Brought home the victory in his heat race. Rider number 72 coming up here on the Yamaha, also down to business tonight. That's Dominic, uh, Dominic Davis. Dominic Davis there on the Yamaha once again, the 72 machine. He's out on uh, one of the rare Yamahas we see out here. Usually it's a Honda-dominated field. Speaking of Hondas, how about the number 50 out there? That's Zyke. And uh, I'm going to assume that's a Honda CRF 100. I just call it XR100. That's, that just feels better. Rider number 627 out there. Good run out there earlier tonight by Daniel Wallace. We'll keep an eye on him. Coach there on the 150. He's looking for some redemption. He uh, stepped off in a small way in his heat race, and that cost him some positions. He fought back quite well, ended up, I think, fourth in that race, so he's still at least going to be up on the front row. Going to line up right number 484, nine back there on road number two. Okay, let's go racing, folks. Right number 369, forgot to give him the nod. That's James Rowland on the Kawasaki. Rowland also crashed earlier in the race, in his heat race, but managed to pick it up and get a good finish out of it. I think about a fourth. So now it's main event time. Let's see what they got. It's time to let it ride hard. And Gates down right number 150. Jacob Coates looks like he gets the whole shot there on the 150 machine. Let's see if he can keep it down low and hold on that lead. Yes, he does. Down the end part of the racetrack. Here comes rider number 55. He's coming in like a madman in that second spot. We told you about that 55. Watch him. That's Trevor Quayle. And that familiar number 72 of Dominic Davids. Dominic Davids machine up there in the third spot on the Omaha. But it's all Jacob Copes right now on the number 150 machine. 
or it was, the 55 just over took him on the backside as soon as they got out of my mouth good. So, new leader, it is the number 55 machine. That's Trevor Quell. Trevor Quell coming out of the final turn there. And he has already started to stretch that lead a little bit. Let's see if Coates, let's see if Jacob Coates can hold off that number 72. Because David, Dominic Davids charging hard there, trying to grab that second spot away from Jacob Coates. Let's see if he can hold him off. Coates, that is. Fifty-five starting to pull away. He's got about six or seven bike links on the rest of the field. The battle is for second, and it's getting really tight here. Coates on the 150 and rider number 72, Dominic Davids. All right, got a rider over down over there. I think that was the little Honda XR100 rider. Glad he didn't hold up the field there as they keep racing. Meanwhile, 55 is looking to put a lap there on the number nine machine, so this one's going by in a hurry. We need to get that next race up to the line and ready to go, so these boys ain't messing around tonight. Enjoying some great racing here on the brand new TT racetrack here at the Bull Ring American County Speedway, folks, and it's been a good one. And we've got a lot more in store for you. There goes the pass for second place. Dominic Davids, now your second place rider on the Yamaha. Made the move there on Coates. No, check that. He has not made the move. Coates has still got that spot. Let me get my eyes double checked there. Jacob Coates still holding down that second spot. It's the 55 machine really stretching his lead out. My apologies for uh, Coates there, the Coates crew. I lost where he was on the racetrack there for a second. And third place rider goes down. So give Coates some breathing room as we work our way to the two laps to go. Trevor Quell on that 55 machine leading the way. And Jacob Coates just got himself a lot of breathing room there as number two machine goes down over there in turn number six. Rider number 55, one lap to go for Trevor Quell on the Honda. Jacob Coates on the 150. Hold on to that second spot. And in the third spot, it's rider number 72. After a spill, he still managed to pick it up. That's Dominic Davids. Fourth spot, rider number 627, Daniel Wallace. And fifth is the 369 machine. That's the Kawasaki of James Rowland. Checkered flag waves, rider number 55, your winner, Trevor Quayle. Second place, Jacob Coates. And in the third spot, it looks like it's gonna be Dominic Davids on the Yamaha, number 72. All right, great main event run there. Congratulations once again. Rider number 55, Trevor Quell on the Honda CRF 450 brings home the victory. A great second place run there by Jacob Coates, one of our homies. And in the third spot, what a great run there by Dominic Davids on the Yamaha. Or check that. Let me double check my numbers. I think it was Dominic. I think Dominic might have made his way to the pits. All right, great job there, guys. Trevor Quayle, once again, your winner. Jacob Copes comes home in second. Everything good? All right, folks, congratulations. What a great, I tell you what, what a great way to open up the season or check out the, open up the new TT track, should I say. And we had some great racing here. I'm excited as I can be. I'll tell you what, great job to the track, folks. Great design. Uh, gave these guys a little bit more infield to race on in here, and it sure, 
it sure equated to some good racing here, good safe racing as well. Only had a couple of step-offs there, and hey, you're going to have that on your bigger races. So once again, great racing there in the TT side of things. Now we're going to move forward with the Southern Dirt Track Association. Uh, we're going to start doing a little bit of roundy round now. So we'll uh, open the track up. And we're going to do a little bit of practice here for you for our, uh, for our roundy round part. Okay, TT Racing, Heats and Racing, and now in the books. Congratulations once again to your winners. We're going to take about 10 minutes, folks. It'll be a good time to go over and check out the uh, concession area, walk around and check out the fellow racers and talk to some of these cats out here. Who knows, Jacob Coates might even give you an autograph. Try to run him down. He's another one of those hometown heroes we hear about a lot. I knew I could find a way to slide that in.
Check one, two. All right, riders, listen up. Flat track practice number one. I don't have my practice order in front of me, but I'll bet you do. Practice number one. Let's go ahead and get them lined up. Check one. Open quad. Let's get to staging. Let's go. Practice is ready to roll for the big track. Okay, open quad, open pro. Let's get in station for practice. Open quad, open pro. On the motorcycles.
cones need to be gone. We're on the roundy round section, right? Those cones probably need to be gone. I guess we're not racing on the inside much tonight. <laughs> All right, Open Pro, you're up next, Open Pro.
I think even we're a little. Oh, dude, the coffee downer was terrible. It's in, the coffee downer is instant, and the water wouldn't even hot. It's like, dang, boy. All right, let's get that next practice ready to roll.
All right, folks, one of my favorite classes. Check out the vintage rides out here. We see some old Honda 350s, some Yamaha TT 500s. Saw a bull taco go by, and guess what? There is a motor guzzy out there. All right, good to see some hooligan riders out here tonight. Yes, sir, I saw some of those Harley V twins roll by here. Who says you can't ride a big bike on a small track? Nobody here. Speaking of small, here comes the small guys. Up for there around the practice. Here. Once again, welcome everybody here to the Bull Ring. Here they are the Mary and Cowboy Speedway. Cross buddies out there listening that are getting a little bit old around the edges, you know what I mean? Might want to come take a look at this here TT racing. Not bad at all. And that's both on the quads and the bikes. Very nice little infield course there they've created out here for us. It's uh, created a whole new spectrum of TT racing out here, I can tell you that. Once again, flat track racing underway here. There's our 50s and our 65s, it appears. Most of the riders have uh, gone through. We'll double check on the See if we got a double practice going for you. Usually we do. So a uh, nice spread out here tonight. Got a bunch of quads. Got a bunch of small bikes. Got us a good pile of hooligans. And hey, a lot of fast guys out here too. On the big bikes. So well rounded out here tonight at the bull ring. Looking forward to some great racing here for you. Once again, uh, practice underway. And speaking of this racing facility, not only did they do a lot to the inside of this racetrack here for you, they did a lot to the outside. They brought in a bunch of new of the, a bunch of new clay, and so a lot of track resurfacing and maintenance going on on the outside, and a lot of new TT track building going on on the inside. So a lot of things going here. Uh, going on here at the Bull Ring at Marion County Speedway. Pretty, 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 
And haven't talked to you guys since Thanksgiving, so I hope all that's good. Hope you can still get your britches buttoned. Okay, looks like a little bit of open practice here for you. I saw vintage and late model go by. sounded bigger than a 250. Two strokes sounded bigger than a 250. It must have been a 360 Yamaha or something. Big display speed. He's holding his own out there, and that thing was running like shit. Every time he fucking run wide out there, though.
All right, folks, we're going to do a uh, little bit of track maintenance between practices here. So the completion of practice number one, which I think we're about to wound up, we're going to do a little bit of track maintenance, and we'll get practice number two started for you. Got a rider down over here in turn number one. Let's check that. Sounds of that compression release, yeah.
Now the grass is growing. <laughs>
All right, ladies and gentlemen, round one of practice in the books. I'm going to break out some maintenance machines, do a little bit of track maintenance here for you. Then we'll get round two of practice underway. This will be a good time to go down there and visit the folks at the uh, concession area. Get your hamburger. I think I saw some barbecue down there as well.
Busy. Check one, two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, open quad, heat number one. Let's get him up to the line. Time to go racing, boys. Open quad practice, I'm sorry. I'm sitting here, I'm trying to get ahead of myself now. Round two of practice, we're ready to go. Too many cups of coffee. Four laps of practice, by the way. How many rounds of practice? I mean, is it like 10 or whatever? All right, once again, round two of practice, ready to go. I had us ready to start the heat racing, just a little bit ahead of myself there, only about 30 minutes. But the good news is, we know that heat one's gonna be open quad. All right, riders, we're having a few of the guys come up telling me they don't need no stinking sector practice. So you guys want to have a powwow down there at the starting line, get some heat races underway, that's up to you. But I, the word from the quad guys so far is, is they're ready to go. So we'll see what the front gate down there says. Any feedback from you riders regarding round two of practice would be appreciated. Yeah. Some people are going to practice twice for sure. <laughs> that pay my money. I won't give me some laps in.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, practice two underway. Let's keep them coming. Be on it.
on top. All right, just a little heads up. As soon as we finish our rounds of practice, I think we got about six groups left in practice, five or six left. We're going to move right into the open quad heat race. So at the completion of practice, we will immediately move into the heat race, number one, which is open quad. All right, 60 plus to staging, 60 plus. Let's get to staging. Once again, 60 plus to staging.
Okay, calling up all heats through the gate. Let's get going, folks. Heat one, open quad. Let's get to the gate. Pro open money. Let's get down there for your heat number one. Let's get heats one and two down there and ready to go, folks. We're wrapping up practice right now. We need to get the open quad, heat one, down to the gate right now. We also need to get the pro open money class, heat one, down to that gate as well. Open quad, heat one, to staging. Open quad, heat one, to staging. Pro open money, to staging. Pro open money, to staging. Once again, open quad, heat one, let's get them down there. Pro money, heat two, let's get them down there. Ready to do some heat racing, y'all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, all the practices are in the books. TT races in the books. Now, let's get down to some heat racing here for you. Race number one, quad heat number one coming up for you. Like to let everyone know, every race is six laps. Six laps for all classes. On the line, Kenny Bullington, rider number 229. We saw him cut him up and have a great time out there on the TT track. Dustin Beatty on the number two, same thing. Jeremy Lanier on the 813s out there, as well as the number 11 of Caleb Beatty. All right, race one, heat one, open quad. Here we go. And it looks like the 229 gets the early lead. the 2 and the 11. Right number 229, Kenny Billington, your leader. Number 2, Dustin Beatty in that second spot. And right number 11, Caleb Beatty in the third position. But check out, that battle for third is getting a little heated. Here comes number 813 around the outside, Jeremy Lanier, looking to grab that third spot. Back to the leaderboard, Kenny Bullington, ladies and gentlemen, number 229 on the blue quad. Starting to stretch it out a little bit. Got a two-stroker in that second spot, Dustin Beatty on the TRX 250R. 
Also on board a two-stroke, Jeremy Lanier on the number 813 running in the third spot. But it's all the number 229 of Kenny Bullington. White flags in the air. Leader working turn number three for the final time. Coming out of four, it's the 229. Kenny Bullington, ladies and gentlemen, going to bring home the checkers here in heat number one. Second place going to be the number two. And just behind him is the number 813 of Jeremy Lanier. Dustin Beatty coming in in that second place. Once again, the 229, the two, and the 813. Great run out there in the open quad heat number one. All right, now a little bit of cash on the line, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Pro Open Heat number one. On the line coming up to see us is going to be the number 163 of Dallas Daniels out of Maltoon, Illinois, on the Kawasaki. Dominic Davids is here, rider number 72. We saw him earlier on the TT track. Pretty darn competitive. And BR44 is here. Brandon Robinson, rider number 44 out of Oxford, PA. Says he's on a road tax. Greg Boyle is here, rider number 27C. A timeless rider, still fast as hell. This guy will be fast as hell when he's 100. He's out of Port Orange, Florida. Says he's on board a Bull Taco. We'll see about that. Also lining up is the number 150 of Jacob Coates right here out of Ocala, Florida. Says he's on board a Honda. All right, let's go racing. All right. Flags down. Three-way battle into the turn number one. Here they come out of turn number two. It's Brandon Robinson on the number 44. Heated battle for second place. Looks like one of the Yamaha riders will check them as they come down the front straight away. SBR, 44, your leader. 163 in the 27. That's how they're running. Dallas Daniels in that second spot. And the 27C of Greg Boyle in the third position. Looks like the number 72 of Dominic Davids in that fourth spot. Leaders coming down is Brandon Robinson on the 44. Still holding on to that lead. Robinson starting to stretch it out a little bit. We'll keep an eye out for that battle for the second place here. See if that gets heated up a little bit. Riders all pretty well spread out. Here comes 44, hard on the gas, feet on the pegs. Great run there by the one number 163 of Daniels out there. The Illinois rider on the board of the Yamaha in that second spot. And Greg Boyle is keeping him honest in that third position. Brandon Robinson, rider number 44, getting a halfway flag. A leader working his way down the back straight away, charging into turn number three. It's the 44 machine, Brandon Robinson, still holding on to a comfortable lead out here as the white flag waves. 163 of Daniel still holding on to that spot with Greg Boyle still in tow. Checker flags in hand, here he comes. Brandon Robinson, rider number 44 out of Oxford, Pennsylvania. He's on the checkers, 163 of Daniels in second, and third's gonna be Greg Boyle. Check that. Yes, and fourth's gonna go to the 72 of Dominic Davids. Great racing here in Pro Open. Heat one, ladies and gentlemen. We are live here at the Marion County Speedway, loving life here at the Bull Ring, ladies and gentlemen, in the early stages of tonight's racing here with the Southern Dirt Track Association. We are in the first set of heats here coming up next is going to be our 50cc heat race. Uh, we've already had two fabulous heat races, and I'll tell you what, I can't hardly wait for the mains. But we got to get through these heat races first. And next up is the future of flat track, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, the 50cc machines, heat number one coming up. We're looking for the 17 of Jacob Lepper. He's going to be alongside the McKinley Lepper and then Nicholas Alcott there in the 126 machine. And we're off racing, and good start there, rider number 126. A little Nicky there. Got the jump on him, looking up on the high side there. And the little PW50s are in tow. 
Here comes Leopard down the front straight away on that number 17 machine. Great job by Nicholas there on the number 126 coming through there. And little McKinley Leopard coming through there, screaming down that front straight away for you. Light Revive 50 plus, Heat 1, 50 plus riders, you're up next. Jacob Lepper, clicking out some pretty quick lap times there on that number 17 KTM. We're working race number three, heat number one of the 50cc class. Welcome everybody to the Southern Dirt Track Association. Night racing here at the Bull Ring, Marion County Speedway. And checkered flag goes out. Jacob Lepper, rider number 17 with the win. We got the number 126 there in the second spot. The 04 there coming home third. All right, 50 cc heat number one coming up for you. Rider number seven Q coming to the line. That's Walt Bevins out of West Melbourne, Florida on the Yamaha. Carl Nabinger's here on the 44B. Brian Long on the number 71D. Ivan Carl on the 36. Ray Deluxe Jr. is here on the number 8C. Kurt Brady on the 57 and the 369 of James Rowland. All right, folks, let's go racing here in the 50 plus class. Eager on the number seven machine there. Walt Bevin is going to have to take a ride to the back. All right, let's get him lined up one more time. All right, race number four underway. Nice little battle for the lead here, coming out of turn number two. Looks like Ivan Carl up there at the front of the pack on that number 38. We'll double check it. 36. 36, 7. And the 57 of Kurt Brady in that third spot. Ivan Carl on that number 36 machine showing him their way around here early in the stages of the heat number one. Number seven, Walt Bevins all the way from the penalty box up to second spot. So. Great start there by Bevins after jumping the start. Looking back to the third spot, it looks like the number 57, Kurt Brady, is still holding on to that one. And Brady's got some company. That's the number 17, or the 71D, it looks like a Brian Long.
White flags in the air, one to go. Ivan Carl, the number 36 machine, looking to bring home the win here in heat number one. Bevins in that second spot. And charging hard in third, check it out. Not gonna happen, Bevins still holds on the spot. Nice late race charge there by the 57 of Kurt Brady there. Right at number eight, C comes across, and as well as the 44 of Nabinger. All right, Ivan Call, number 36, great job. All right, next up, we got some youth quad. Race number five. Stella Pons coming up to see us on the number 13. Emily Fussell on the 20 and Lane Fussell on the two. All right, hats off to these ATVs because they're fast. Here we go. And we are out of the gates, hard and heavy. Youth quad class out there racing hard for you. Race number five, let's get race number six and seven ready to roll. Wayne Fussell getting it on out there for you. On that number two machine, let's see if Lane can come up there and put some pressure on the leader. Emily Fussell right now is looking back and going, wait a second, where did this person come from? New leader, ladies and gentlemen, the two of Lane Fussell. Lane makes the move on Emily over there going into three. Lane Fussell on that bright red number two. Both their riders out of Archer, Florida. Good family racing. White flags in the air, number two, still holding on to that spot. Lane Fussell, your leader, Emily Fussell in the second spot, and Stella Ponce on that number 13 machine in the third spot. And checkered flag waves for the number two of Lane Fussell. Emily, Emily coming in second, and Stella coming in third. Great race in there by the quads. Open novice heat number one coming up for you. This is race number six. We're looking for Chris Roberts on the number 81. The number two of Tracy Beck. Hayden Labar on the 21, the 9C of Shane Britt. Daniel Wallace on the 627. And James Rowland on that 369 Kawasaki.
All right, get them all lined up here. Once again, this is race number six. Let's get uh, heat number seven and eight down there. Heats number seven and eight should be down there on the gate ready to roll. Up and running. Nice start there by the number 369, Kawasaki of James Rowland. Let's see if he can hold on to it. Coming out of turn number two. Yes, he does. Down the back straight away they go. Leaders working their way out of turn number three. The exit of four coming down the front straight away. And it is the 369, the 627, and the 21. James Rowland, your leader, Daniel Wallace, on the 627 in the second spot. Third is Hayden Labar. Hayden on the Husqvarna on this race. Leaders coming out of four, nice battle for the lead. And the 627 grabs it. Move Daniel Wallace to the front. Let's move the Kawasaki of James Rowland back to the second spot. Hayden Lamar still holding his own in third. Hayden Lamar looking to grab that second spot, and he does. So moving Hayden up to it, an, another spot there. The 21 Husqvarna rider now in the second position. And your early leader, James Rowland on that Kawasaki, going the wrong way as he's just been passed for the fourth spot, it looks like, for the third spot, that is. No, he's holding on for now, but the 81's applying pressure. White flag's out. Daniel Wallace, number 627, trying to bring it home here for you. And he does. 627, your winner, Lamar, second. Third to 369 of James Rowland. Rider number 81 comes home fourth, and winding up the field is the number nine of Shane Britt. Check that. Riding up the field, Tracy Blick on the number two. Give me more than I need, okay? <laughs> Check one. All right. My favorite class. Why? Because I'm an old guy. Vintage, open heat number one coming up the line. Check out these beautiful machines. Aaron Worthington coming up on the number 47. Brian Long, I believe he's riding one of those vintage Yamaha TTs. Trevor Quell's here on the number 44. I think I saw him on a Harley Davidson. Nope, he, I'm showing a 44 of Bull Taco. Ray Deluxe on that classic Honda down there. And Thomas Tricello, rider number 90B. Let's see if he's making the grade here. He had shock problems earlier. And we've got rider number 83, Mike Eller. And we are underway. And Mike Eller, what a good hole shot there on the Harley Davidson. Let's see if he can hold it. Eller on the outside. Ah, and Eller loses grip coming out of two. He gets, somebody dives under him under there. Eller drops it down to the bottom, still holding on that second spot. And it's the number 47, Harley Davidson of Aaron Worthington. And Worthington getting some pressure there by the number 17 on the outside, Brian Long. Brian Long looking hard on the outside on the Yamaha. And Brian Long's looking to grab the lead here, looking to take over to Harley Davidson. And there he goes, out of turn number two, your new leader on the Yamaha, Brian Long. Let's see if Worthington's got something for him on the Harley. Brian Long on that 71D, starting to stretch that lead out on the Yamaha. Worthington on the Harley, still holding on to that second spot, the number 40, uh, check that number 47, right? And move rider number eight up a few spots. Deluxe Jr. on that number eight C Honda. 
And he's doing some good side-by-side -side racing back there for the third spot. Meanwhile, it's the Yamaha. Brian Long. Long coming out of turn number four for the final time. And the Yamaha gets it done, folks. Brian Long, right number 71. The 47 and the 44 just behind him. Good race there by the 47 of Worthington and the 44 of Trevor Quayle. All right, looks like we might have some more Vintage Open coming at you. Heat number two of our Vintage Open class coming at you. Joe Calavito going to be coming to the line on the number 18. Rusty Carvalho on the number 97. Brian Anderson on the number 33. The 813 of Jeremy Lanier. And Ward Jones on the motor guzzy, number 66. Nice mixed bag of riders here. We've got the, uh, or machine, should I say. Got some twins, got some vintage singles coming up here. I right hear a two stroke. Got an Italian bike, the Motor Guzzi, on the line, ready to go here with Ward Jones. Talk about flat track diversity. Here you go. All right, not the best of starts. We'll try that again. One, two. Got some bike swapping here. Third place, looking all out of whack back there. But he managed to gather it in and come fight back and see if he's going to get second. Meanwhile, in the front of the pack, it's the number 33, Brian Anderson, your leader. And a battle for second place. We're going to watch that one. Look at that. Leader coming out of turn number four. Battle for second coming out of four. And a battle for second is a good one. The 66. On the Gucci. <laughs> 90 is doing a great job out there as well. Thought he was going to be a scratch when he got him here. Caden Roberts. But it's all the number 33 of Brian Anderson. He's running away with this one, folks. Number 90 on the two-stroke, trying to give chase out there. White flag waves, one to go for Brian Anderson out of Pinellas Park, Florida. Checker flag waves, great run. Brian Anderson, untouchable out here. Number 90 in the second spot. And the number 66, Ed Jones on the motor guzzy, or Ward Jones, out of Plant City, Florida, on the Gucci. So mix in a little bit of Italian here in this one. All right, next up is going to be Youth Open 
Race number nine. Let's get race number 10 and 11 ready to go. Jordan Getz on the number 10 is coming down to see us. Lane Fussell on the number two. Brody Hansen on the number 99. Jacob Lepper on the 17. Hayden Labar on the 21. This is our youth open class. Heat number one for those cats. All right, we're ready to go racing. Youth Open class, green lines waving at number 10 and 21. Shoot out of there first. And it looks like the 10's gonna hold the spot coming out of turn number two. Jordan Getz on the Kawasaki, the Lutz Florida rider. Off to an early lead here and he's starting to actually stretch it out a little bit. Look at that battle for a second though. They're three deep. 21, 99 and the 90 going at it. That's Caden Roberts on the number 90 machine. And battle for second still rages on us. Number 10 leads them. Let's look at the battle for second. Lamar and that number 90 machine of Roberts, or 99 of Brody Hansen going at it hard and heavy. Got a rider down. Looks like one of the riders had a problem there coming out of, right there, just out of turn number three over there. Medical team's on it. Once again, problem there out of turn number three, rider going down over there. Uh, we've got the medical team over there. We uh, can only hope that uh, the rider's going to be up and okay. Uh, they were down there on the scene pretty quick, so hopefully we'll get things going here for you. But more importantly, hopefully that rider is okay.
All right, everybody's up and a go. Okay, we're back to racing, folks. All right, had a rider didn't uh, stall over there, Lane Fussell. Had to get a red flag out in a hurry on that one. All right, let's try this one more time. And everybody's out of the gate clean this time out. And rider number 10 takes off with the early lead. Jordan gets. Rest of the field giving chase to battle for the second. Looking racy already. Lavar on that four stroke look is down low. And he's got a two stroke coming up high. And that's the number 99 machine of Brody Hansen. Brody still looking high, coming out of turn number two, trying to overtake the 21 machine of Lavar, ain't gonna get it done. Meanwhile, rider number 10, Jordan Getz, starting to check out. Lavar, that second spot, still got a lot of company there. It's the number 99, Brody Hansen. Brody puts it to the bar on him, coming out of turn number three. Let's see if he can hold on to that spot. 21 down low, it's a drag race. No, Lamar still holding on to that spot. It's the 10 machine checking out. All right, pass for second. It looks like the 99 might have him down there in the back straightaway. Brody Hansen now in the second spot. Let's see if Lamar can fight back. All right, white flag once again waving. Here comes your leader for the final time out of turn number four, number 10. It's Jordan Getz, the Lust Florida rider. Brings home the checkers here in heat number one. Second place gonna go to Hanson on the 99 and the number 21 comes home third. That's Hayden Labar on the four stroke. Fourth place, the number 17 and fifth comes to the 90D. All right, got some mad dog racing for you. Michael Springer on the line, 975. The 82 of Kim Gunlock. Dave Zyke on the 50. Sam Jensen on the 31, the double O of Kenneth Steve. John Willis on the number five and the 44 of Van Raver. Glad to see Van back racing with us. And speaking of Van Rayburn, Van Rayburn's got the Kawasaki up front.
All right, checker flag waves. Great run there. Flag to flag victory for Van Rabert on the number 44. He usually does, he's out here doing some car racing. Now tonight doing some motorcycle racing. All right, race number 11 coming at you. It's gonna be the Hooligans. Heat number one for those cats coming up for you. The 47 of Aaron Worthington on the Harley. Lance Jobert says he's on a Harley on the number eight. The 97 of Rusty Carvalho says he's on a Honda. Trevor Quell on the 232 says he's on a Harley. And winding up the field out of Newport Ritchie, Mike Eller on the number 83 Harley Davidson. Got some big twin action coming for you. Got some American iron and some Japanese aluminum coming. No, it looks like all American iron so far. All right. And we're going green, folks. Right at number 83, Mike Eller. Got the wire pulled tight on Harley Davis down the back straight away. Here they come into turn number three. Eller swings her up just a little bit high. Coming out of four, easy. And I don't think they're happy with that start. We'll double check it there. They, Eller might have left early. Let's see what they're saying down there. And number 83 is going to have to get a really good start this time. All right, little clutch adjustment going in here by the 232 of Trevor Quayle. And we are off and running. 47 gets the early lead, Aaron Worthington. There's that 83 on the outside, out the outside. No, he got choked out there. So Aaron Worthington on the big Harley Davidson on the number 47 leads him down. And there's a battle for the lead and the back straightaway. Second place rider looking to stick it down there on the inside and he does. That's that number 232 machine of Trevor Quayle. So Quayle has flown up to the lead. Aaron Worthington on the 47 starting to fade back just a little bit. And your third place rider, Mike Eller, Coming back from the penalty box. Now up to third. Good run there by Eller. Halfway flag showing. Quail, number 232. Coming out of number four. Looking solid. Eller still back there in that third spot. 47 and Mornington in second. There goes the eight machine, Lance Jobert. Lance got the best looking leathers out here tonight. And a 232 gets the white flag. 47 just behind him and there's that number 83. Problems for the leader, the 47 wins, 83 in second. And I didn't see it there. I don't know if 232 lost that thing over there in four, but nonetheless, always racing a checker. Eric Worthington, glad of that. So uh, happy days for the 47 and the 83 of Mike Keller.
All right, Hooligan Heat won in the books. Once again, congratulations goes out to the 47, Aaron Worthington on the fire breathing Harley Davidson. Next up is the 30 plus. Rider number 33 gonna, coming up the line for you is Brian Anderson. We're looking for the 484 of jo Joseph Giannato. Walt Bevins on the number 7Q. Mike Metzler on the 51. And Jeremy Lanier on the number 813. All right, let's go racing. Plus 30 class. And they're already racing. Coming in a turn number three out of four. Three deep, ladies and gentlemen. The seven and a 51 emerge first. Seven Q Bevins and a 51 of Mike Messler. And at number 33 there, Brian Anderson in that third spot. So here's your leaderboard. Walt Bevins on the seven up front, Metzger, Metzler in that second spot, and the number 33, Brian Anderson in third. Fourth place battle looks good, and the 484's got that. He's being hounded by the 813. Leaders coming out of turn number two, down the back straightaway. Walt Bevins starting to stretch that lead out just a little bit, it looks like, as he gets the two laps to go. Mike Messler still giving chase, and in that third spot is still the number 33, the double threes of Brian Anderson. White flags in the air, here comes that number seven. And the checker flags in hand. Walt Bevins gonna take it on the seven machine. Second place, 51, third place, 33. In the four spot, in a close one, the 484 grabs that, just ahead of the number 813 of Jeremy Lanier. All right, we're going to tone it down just a little bit here for you. 65 CC riders coming up next for you. Julian Padilla on the number eight. He's out of Lutz, Florida. Lane Fussell is here on the number two out of Orchard, Florida in that 65 series class. Wheeler Metzler out of High Springs, Florida is here on the number 51, the 99 of Brody Hansen. Jacob Lepper is here on that 17 and the 24 of Joshua Pierce out of Donnellan, Florida. Race number 13 coming up for you. Let's get 14 and 15 up there to the starting area. All right, and rider number 51, just a tad out of the box in the 17. A little trouble as well. Let's we'll see how they line them back up. All right, let's go racing. Rider number eight on the KTM. Julian 
Padilla. Let's see if he can hold on to it. Yeah, looking racing back there, but I don't know if it's going to work. No, one of the Kawasaki riders now up to the lead. Coming out of number four. Here they come. It's rider number 99, Brody Hansen. Got the eighth and second spot. And look like that 17 there. Leper in that third position. All right, the 99, the eight, and yes, that is Leopard the 17 in the third spot. And in the fourth spot, it's number 51, Hard Charge and Wheeler Metzler there for you. Messler got some company back there. Jacob Lepper on that number 17 machine giving chase. So we'll watch that battle. Front three are pretty well spread apart. Number 99 running away with this and Hanson. Second place. And third getting a little bit closer out there. The number eight of Padilla, your early leader in second spot. Third, Jacob Lepper. And Lepper starting to creep up a little bit on that second place rider. But he's also running very short on time as the white flag waves for the 99 of Hanson. And we've got a rider down here hard out of turn number two. Let's hold everything here. All right, folks, Joshua Pierce on the number 24 machine stepped off over there, but he, he looks like he's up and okay, so yeah. Let's give him a big hand there. Me, I was supposed to see it. All right, give a big hand. Number 24 is ready to line him back up. Going to take a lot more than that to knock him out of this race.
All right, let's try this one more time. And they're out of the gate. It's the 99. And the 51 gets a great start there to second place. Wheeler Metzler, good start on the 51 four stroker. White flags in hand. One to go for the number 10 machine. Check that, the 99, Brody Hampton. And 51's got pressure back there for second. Rider right number eight, Julian Padilla is looking at him hard as they come out of four for the final time. The 99's gonna win it. Drag race to second place, and number eight's gonna get that spot. Padilla with second, and a good run there by the 51. Messer couldn't quite hold him off at the line. All right, 60 plus coming up next, heat number one. This is race number 14. Let's get 15 and 16 down there. Got a menagerie of bikes down here. I think I see a Yamaha XS650 down there, number 82. Number 17 on a late model. Number 93 looks like he's on a framer. So, okay, here we go. Down the front straightaway or the back straightaway they go. And it's rider number 17, Ken Davis out of Hinesville, Georgia with a lead. But he's already got company. And that's the number 62 machine of Davis. Of Larry Daves. Larry Daves on, also on board a Honda. So we got a couple of Hondas going at it hard and heavy. It's still the number 17, Ken Davis, your leader. All right, leaders working the way into turn number three. Coming out of turn number four is still Ken Davis riding number 17 up at the point. And that 62 machine, Larry Daves, giving him all he's got back there. Meanwhile, the Yamaha, that sounds pretty sick, still holding on the third spot out there. So, hey, backfired and all, it's still in third. Oh, 17 gets a little loose coming out of two, but managed to hold on to the spot. Second place rider creeping up a little bit on the outside. Now Dow's down low. 17 and a 62 going hard and heavy at it. One lap to go. 17 out of turn two a little bit cleaner that time. Ken Davis trying to bring it home. But here comes that 62 on the outside. Larry Davis trying to give a chase. Not going to happen. So it's Davis on the 17, 62 of Larry Davis in that second spot out there for you. Number 93, Dave Gabbert on the Yamaha comes home third. All right, 60 plus heat two coming at you. Race number 15, let's get 16 and 17 down there. Coming to the line, the number 18, John Calavito. He'll be racing with Jerry Lacey on the number 44, Bull Taco. Michael Springer's here on the number 75 machine. He's out of Sarasota. And Carl Nabinger here on the number 44B out of Newport, Ritchie, Florida.
All right, Navy Angel number 44. Look at Carl out there. All right, 44 to 75 of Springer, and that 44 also of 44B, Lacey on the Bull Taco. All right, a couple of late model Hondas going at it with a Bull Taco in tow. Halfway flags are out. Number 44. Looking for a flag to flag win. That's 44 of Carl Nabinger we're talking about. The 44B on that late model Honda. Just behind him on an air cooled Honda 75, Jerry or Michael Springer. I knew I was going to do that. And here comes that bull taco, Jerry Lacey coming through there in third. White flags in the air. On the boys with one to go. And it looks like Navy are going to go flag to flag. The 44B for the final time. Checker flag waves. Great run there. 75 of Springer comes in second. Lacey on the number 44 Bull Taco comes home third. Good day, Binger. Good job there. Open amateur heat number one coming up next. This is race number 16. Let's get 17 and 18 down there on the line. Open amateur heat one. It is the number 81 machine. Chris Roberts coming to the line. Joseph Giannato also rolling up on the 484. The 9C of Jane, uh, Shane Britt is here. And Gabriel Da Silva out of Vero Beach, Florida on the number 444 machine. Let's go racing open amateur style, folks. Race number 16 once again coming at you. All right, Gates down, rider right number 484 with a jump. Joseph Giannato with the lead. And Joe got some company back there. Gabriel De Silva on the 444, looking to the outside. Let's see if she's going to make it stick. Way wide, coming out of four. Nice battle, but overtakes and going into one. Gabriel De Silva, new leader. De Silva still coming high to one over there. And now De Silva's starting to stretch it out a little bit. Gabriel De Silva, the 444, the Vero Beach, Florida rider on board the Honda. High, wide, and handsome. 484 Honda giving chase there. Joseph Giannato, and in that third spot is the number 81 of Chris Roberts. Right, two to goes out. Gabriel De Silva, 444, gets the white flag. 484 in that second spot, Giannato. And holding down in third spot, it's still the number 81 of Chris Roberts. And for the final time, the 444 rolls out of four and gets the checkered flag, Gabriel De Silva. 
Giannato comes home second and third. It's going to be the 81 Yamaha of Chris Roberts. All right, race number 16 in the books. Open amateur heat two coming up next for you. Daniel Wallace gonna be here on the 627, the 21 of Hayden Labar. Thomas Tricello Jr. on the 813 and... Now Mr. Sprinkle told me about this. Coy Sprinkle, there it is, now I remember. All right, gets down the wall with a good spot, and so is Sprinkle with a 94 with a good start. And it looks like Sprinkle's gonna lead him out of turn number two down the back straight away. Number 21 in tow there in that second spot. Let's try to get a lot, an eye on that third place rider as they come out of turn number four. That is that number 627 machine of Darrell Wall and Daniel Wallace. So the 94, the 94, Coy Sprinkle, your leader, Hayden Lamar in that second spot. The number 627, Daniel Wallace in third. And a battle for second place. Coming out of turn number two, Hayden Labar's got it. But right at number 627, Daniel Wallace wants it. Wallace looks high, coming out of three. Let's see if he can make it stick. As they is a drag race, coming down the front straight away. And Labar on the Husqvarna holds his position. Labar under pressure, again on the outside by the number 627 machine. Holds him off down the back straight away. Meanwhile, back to the front of the pack. It's right at number 94, Coy Sprinkle with two laps to go. Coy Sprinkle, a mad dash to the checkered flag. Here he comes, one, one to go. <laughs> Hayden Labar still hounded by that number 627 Yamaha, Daniel Wallace. Labar on the 21, Wallace on the 627. Here they go side by side, coming out of two. And the 627 tries a little bit of outbreaking there, coming into three as they exit number four. Let's see if he can make it stick. No, Labar fights back. So, good run there, Corey Sprinkle with the win, and the 21 of Hayden Labar and the 627, Daniel Wallace, what a show they put on. Eighty-five CC heat number one coming up for you. This is race number 18. Let's get 19 and 20 down there. Corey Sprinkle once again, good job there with, the, with his heat one win. 85 CC Heat One Riders coming up to see us. Trenton Rivera on that Suzuki, number 3R. Lane Fussell on number 2 Honda. Jacob Leppard on the number 17. Wheeler Messer on the 51. And Caden Roberts on the number 90 machine. Let's see what we got here for you. Race number 18 coming up. Once again, let's get 19 and 20 down there. Ready to go. How many you got total, 21, I think it was. <laughs> Hey, it's better than 22. All right, once again, 85cc heat number one. This is race number 18. And 
in the 17 and the 51 get out of there pretty quick. And it looks like the 51, Messler is going to hold that spot. And that too has had problems at the starting line all night. Poor guy. Leaders coming through. It's the 51 and the 17. Running side by side, 17 takes a look up high, coming out of number two, Jacob Lepper, looking to try to grab that lead, down the back straight away, and he grabs it. Jacob Lepper up in the front spot. All right, problems again for the number two machine. Get back to the leaderboard by number 17, Jacob Lepper. With the two to go, and rider number 51, Wheeler Metzler on the two stroke Suzuki. Giving chase there. The 17 and the 51 still at it hard and heavy. The 17 gets the white flag down the back straight away for the final time. Jacob Lepper. Lepper dives down to the outside, coming out of four, and he's going to get a checkered flag. Wheeler Messer, number 51, gets the second spot. And I do believe. We'll double check score there, but Rivera might have grabbed a third there since we had problems there with the number two machine. Eighty-five CC heat number two coming up. Hayden Labar is going to be in this one on the number twenty-one machine alongside the number ten of Jordan Getz, Brody Hansen on the number ninety-nine, eleven of Alan Pierce, and Julian Padilla on the number eight. Padilla out of Lutz, Florida. Good to see these young guns out here with us. Five of them coming up to race with us from what I can see here on our sheet. All right, we're ready to go racing. Heat number two, 85 CC class, and they're out of the gate. Hayden Lamar with a whole shot. Rider number 10 right behind him, Jordan Getz. Getz taking a look to the outside on that two-stroke. Let's see if he can get it done on the back straight away. Yes, he does. Jordan Getz, your new leader. And the number 21 now back to the second spot, Hayden Lamar. Check out that third place rider. Let's get a number on him. That looks like the number 99 of Brody Hansen, the Danilo in Florida rider, in that third spot. Comes Getz, Labar, and the number nine, Hanson. Fourth place, number eight, Padilla. And in the fifth spot, it's the number 11. And that's Alan Pierce. And another lap in the books for the number 10 machine. Jordan Getz looking really racy out here tonight, as well as Hayden Labar on that 21 and the number 99 of Brody Hanson. And it looks like Hansen has grabbed that second spot. So number two position going to Hansen now as they get the two to go. Lamar on the four stroke riding back there in the third position. Padilla still holds the fourth spot on the number eight machine. Laps winding down on this one, ladies and gentlemen. Leader's going to get the white flag this time by. And the number 10 still holding this spot. Jordan gets Hansen in second, Lamar in third.
And the number 10 is in, Jordan Getz, rider number 10, the Lutz Florida rider gets checkered flag. 99, just ahead of him. Good run there as well by the number 21 of Hayden Labar. All right, next up. All right, folks, we're on race number 20. So we need to get 20 and 21 up there and listen up. We're running a little bit behind tonight, so we're going to have to pretty much run straight into the features. So as soon as we're done with race number 21, we need to get race number one up there, and I'll double check, but I think that's going to be that open quad class, just like we ran them in the same order of the heat races. Pro-Am singles coming at you. Mike Metzler on the 51, 150 of Jacob Copes, Greg Boyle on the 27C. Trevor Quayle on that 55 machine, been fast all night, as well as that number 72 of Dominic Davids. All right, six laps. See if somebody can bring home some money here tonight. And Metzler gets the whole shot, but here comes Boyle on the 27. And Boyle looks like he's going to get him coming out of turn number two. And the battle for second place here. Trevor Quayle up there in the mix on the 55 Honda. Move Metzler back to third, Quayle to second. And Quayle looking for more out of turn number two. Side by side with Greg Boyle. And looks like Greg Boyle keeps it on a little bit longer. Whoa, the two Honda riders running tight, coming out of four. Boyle on the 27 and the 55 of Quayle. Whoa, and Quayle almost slides up into the leader. Has to get off the binders. Great control, man, Quayle almost took the leader out. Halfway flags are out, and this is some great racing, folks. Pro-Am singles. Greg Boyle, our familiar racer, number 27 out here out of Port Orange, Florida. One of our regulars, and he has got some company back there, number 55. Two laps to go as leaders working their way down the back straightaway. Greg Boyle holding off Quail. But Quail not giving in. Here he comes. Trying to take a look to the outside. White flag's out. One final time for Quail as they dive into three. Let's see if he can do a hard charge. Not going to happen. Here comes Boyle. What a race there. Greg Boyle wins it. Trevor Quail in that second spot. What a nice run there. And Metzler comes home third. All right, folks, lineups are, check one. Lineups are posted. Once again, lineups are posted.
Check one, two. All right, we're back on line. Had to do a little battery change here for you. Let's get back to the racing action. Brandon Robinson, rider number 44, gets the halfway flag. Nice run there by the 163 of Dallas Daniels. Dallas Daniels looking real racy out here tonight. And yeah, we look back and try to get a number on that third place rider. Couldn't tell if that was Coy Sprinkler or not coming out of there. Yeah, number 72, good, good run there for you. And Robinson getting awful close to the wall, coming out of number four. Checker flags at hand. Here comes Robinson one more time. And he's going to get the checkers. Good run there. Right at number 163. Stayed right with him at Dallas Daniels. And a good run there by Coy Sprinkle. On that 94 machine. Also hats off to number 92 as well. That was Dominic David. All right, folks, I've been told we're going straight to the features. All right, folks, the people who count, which is the scorekeepers and so forth, they're working feverishly to get started here. We are, uh, once again, running a little bit behind. They're going to put a little bit of water on the track, it looks like, but we really need to try to get these uh, main events up and rolling and running pretty steady. The tick-tock is ticking, as you can see, but we want to get all the racing in for you tonight, so uh, help us out. Make sure you're staged on time. As soon as I get the order, the race order, that is, I will get you uh, informed on that. I'm not positive that they're going to run the same water as we did through the heat races. I would assume so, but you know what? That assuming can get you.
But even that's not that big of a hit. Pretty much get 40 hours a week out of y'all plus out here or what? Me? Yeah. Nah. Hey. Well, hopefully he pays in cash, so even if you are fucking. came here to announce the armor race and he brought me back in there and he broke out some big old giant bud and started smoking the smoke on it. And I was like, dude, I got it now. <laughs> you get me too smoked up. I mean, but this is fun. I had no, that was probably 15 freaking years ago. But they had an armor race here, the Historic Racing Motorcycle Association. This place was balls to the fucking walls. There was 200 fucking riders and there was a die. <coughs> Bunch of clients from BSAs and shit. So that just tells us it's been that way before, it could be that way again. And he ain't fucking around, you know. You know, I'm sure like you, I've been to a lot of racetracks and some of them just can't turn the where they turn around. His sound system's good. Track maintenance is dead on, you know, um, the whole deal with this infield doing the TT track is fat. Do we, uh, call, do we call him up again? Oh, yeah. We call him up again. You ready? Yep. I don't have the paperwork. Call who up? Then we next call him. You talking about announcers? We'd love to see some paperwork. I can, I can wing it through the quads if that's what's up first. Oh, boy. I guess I'm going to have to be on my game, be combining pieces of paper together. I might have to go get that darn stapler again. All right, looks like they're about to wrap it up here on the watering, so... I'm going to be looking for main event number one. We'll double check with scoring, but I do believe it's going to be the open quad. I'm thinking we're going to run the same order as we did through our heat races. Just less of them.
All right, it's main event time. Our first feature of the evening will be the open quad class. Race number two going to be pro open money. Race number three, 50 cc. So let's get those three classes ready to roll here. Open quad, pro open money, and the 50 cc class.
Okay, let's get those flaggers in, in place here. We're about ready to get things going. I see the mathematicians, scorekeepers, keeper of knowledge. <laughs> yeah, let me give you a little hint there. Bill can yell at you all you want to, but you do not yell at females. I've been married for 30 years, and you know how you stay alive? Shut up. All right. Don't ever yell at me. <laughs> See there? <laughs> There's no yelling in flat track. Except for me. I get to holler. Speaking of hollering, let's get an open quad up to the line. Open quad, Kenny Bullington, 229, Dustin Beatty on the two. Jeremy Lanier on the 813 and the 11 of Caleb Beatty. All right, as they're coming up to the line here one more time, let's introduce you to these riders. Number 229 is here, Kenny Bullington, and he has been rocket fast all night on that light blue quad down there. Dustin Beatty, number two, also been solid out here on a two-stroke, no doubt. And who can forget Jeremy Lanier on that number 813. Jeremy a little bit under the weather tonight, but you couldn't tell by his riding. And Caleb Beatty on the 11. We're getting ready to go. Main event racing here. We're off and running. Bullington gets off clean. Caleb Beatty does not. Problem in the start for 11. Let's try this one more time. All right, the Honda laid down at the line. Looks like we got it fired back up. We're going to call that a sight lap. Hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, now we're going to get this thing going for you. All right, gates down, and they're two stroke and a four stroke side by side, coming out of two, and the four stroke's going to get them. That's Kenny Bullington on the 229. Just behind Bullington, Dustin Beatty on that number two machine. And here comes the 813. Look at Mighty Racy, Mighty Early. That's Jeremy Lanier. Kenny Bullington bullying his way up to the front and not looking back on that 229. The two stroke of Dustin Beatty giving chase there in that second spot. Number two machine we're talking about. And holding on to that third spot is still Lanier on the 813. Bullington leading him out of turn number four, coming out of front straightaway. Got a couple of two strokes giving chase. Beatty Lanier on them two bangers trying to run him down. But it don't look like it's going to happen. Bullington is on the gas. That quad is handling nice.
Two laps to go. Bullington, number 229, in your lead. Dustin Beatty on the two in the second spot. Lanier on the number 813, TRX 250R in third. Caleb Beatty, right at number 11 in fourth. White flags in the air, one to go for Bullington. And just like that, Kenny Bullington comes out of four on the 229 machine and wins it. Open quad winner, second place, number two, Beatty, third, 813 Lanier. Great racing here, way to open up the show here with the open quads. Congratulations goes out once again, the 229, Bullington, the two of Beatty on that two stroke. Lanier also on a two stroke, right at number 813 in third. Lanier, just keep your helmet on. You look much better that way. All right, let's line them up. Pro Open class. Brandon Robinson on the line on the number 44. He's alongside Dallas, Dallas Daniels on the number 163 machine. Greg Boyle on the 27C, the 72 of Dominic Davids, and Jacob Coates on the 150. Time to make some money, boys. And Gates down. Robinson gets a start. Boyle on the outside. And look at the Yamaha. Dallas Daniels squeezes in there for second place. Here they come out of turn number three in the exit of number four. It's going to be Robinson on the 44. The 163 and the 27 going at it hard and heavy. 163 once again, Dallas Daniels, your second place rider. Third place, Greg Boyle, the old hat still riding hard and heavy on that Honda. Leaders coming out of four. The 44, Robinson, still your leader. It's that 163 of Dallas Daniels. And look at the race back here for the four spot. Love to look back anywhere there on the racetrack. Find me a good race. And it looks like we've got one going here. Coates on the 150 in the 72 of Davids. Nice little battle going back there for you. Working our way back to the front of the field. Look at that 44 machine. Entry speed into three. And feet on the pegs, hard on the gas, out of four, just past the apex, already hard on the gas. Entry into turn number one. Exceptional, makes up a lot of ground there. Brandon Robinson looking smooth as silk out here. And Dallas Daniels, the 163 Yamaha holding his own out there. You know he's having a good time out here racing uh, with the pros. Brandon Robinson with two laps to go, just two on the books. You can see Dallas Daniel closes that gap a little bit as they go into three, but it seems like one and two. That is owned by the 44 machine. Look at the gap he creates there coming out of two. Brandon Robinson, rider number 44 for the final time out of turn number four, and he's going to bring home the checkers in the pro open class. 
Second place, Dallas Daniels, 163. Third place, great run there by Greg Boyle, one of our own. Fourth gonna go to 72 of David, and fifth gonna go to Jacob Coates. JC, good run there. All right, folks, three of the fastest cats you'll see down here here lately. I'll tell you what, great run there. Rider number 44, Brandon Robinson with a win. How about Dallas Daniels? Good second place finish. And Greg Boyle, that guy just don't get old. Okay, we're gonna tone it down just a little bit. Woo! 50cc race coming up for you. This is race number three, 50cc riders. On the line, number 17, Jacob Lepper. Nicholas Alcott and McKinley Lepper on the 04. And look at Nikki with the whole shot. Didn't last long, but a great start there by the number 126, the PW50. All right, Jacob Lepper on the number 17 machine. Oh, Jacob probably about ready to put that one on the blocks there. He about to outgrow that thing, but I'll tell you what, he's still got great speed out there, so why not get out there and twist the throttle on it? Anybody new to the sport? These are both 50cc machines, or all three of them are 50cc machines. But as you might can see, the number 17 KTM that's your second level of racer there. PW's at the beginning, and uh, it's nice that the motorcycle manufacturers make uh, bikes that these cats can step into. Obviously, the PW50, a good start. The KTM50, the next step. And that's when things get different. They go into the bike, and they go, what's this? And Dad says, that is a clutch lever, son. <laughs> Welcome to the 65 class. All right, Leper working his way down the back straight away. Cutting out some pretty good laps here on that number 17 machine. And white flags out, one to go with that KTM rider, Jacob Lepper. Actually, he gets to check a flag, sorry about that. He was that fast. All right, race four coming up next, folks. All right, from the 50 cc's to the 50 plus age group. Big jump. Okay, coming up next, main event for the 50 plus class. As we get our main event winners here for the 50 CC class lined up, Jacob Lepper once again riding number 17. Great job out there. Second place, Nicholas Alcott on the 126 machine. Also got the whole shot on that PW. And third place, good run there by the 04 McKinley Lepper.
All right. Ivan Carl on the line on the number 36. We've got Walt Bevins out here on the 7Q. Kurt Brady on that 57 machine. Brian Long on the 71D. Although I think it's a 17 on the number plate. Yeah, it is. Deluxe Jr. on the 8C. Carl Nabinger on that 44B. And winding up the field right at number 369, James Rowland on the Kawasaki, it says. All right, Gates down. A good start there by the number seven. Walt Bevins looks like he's going to beat him out of turn number two. Look at that third place rider jump up here and grab second just like that. Here we go, coming out of four. Yeah, we got a rider down over here, so we're going to have to restart this one. Double checking that number. It looks like the 44 of Nabinger. Looks like it got away from him there, so they had to woo him on down there. We'll get him restarted. Oh, boy. This one's looking real good and real early. All right, 44 is going to not get back to the line, so let's get ready to roll. And Gage down. Bevins with another good start on the number seven machine. Walt Bevins. And we got another rider down here. All right, these 50-plus boys must have had a bunch of coffee during break time. They antsy. Trying to get a number there, 57. Kurt Brady, I think, went down. So turn number two takes another one. Let's see if Brady can get it fired back up. At least that looks like the 57 from here. And that might have been a break for the 40 for the 44 machine. Let's see if he gets back there and goes racing. It looks like. Carl Nabinger, who fell earlier, was victim number one of turn two. He gets to rejoin the group. Now number eight having problems there, right number eight C. Deluxe seat. Ray, hold up. They got a starter.
All right, let's try this. Third time's a charm. And rider number seven keeps getting those hole shots. Walt Bevins, and look at the vintage machine up there tall. Brian Long, what a show he's putting on on that Yamaha. All right, leader's coming down. Let's see what we got here. Our rider number 36 on the KTM squeezes up there in the lead. That's Ivan Carl. And Bevins is looking to fight back on the outside on the Yamaha. Bevins out breaking into turn number three. Let's see if he can hold it up there and keep it going. No, it's still the number 36. Ivan Carl with the bragging rights. All right, coming down the front straight away to 36, the 7, and the 57 of Kurt Brady. So Brady getting up here racing. Look at Kurt Brady trying to grab the lead as he comes up and takes second away, and he's looking for the lead. Whoa, Brady comes in there just a little bit too hard, Nebby. Look at the 57. He is on fire. Brady backs her in there, tries to grab the lead again. No, not going to happen. The KTM rider, Ivan Carl, takes it back. Things a little calmer this time. Carl got the lead, the 57 in the second spot. Kurt Brady trying to get up there and do another battle. Brady making his presence known out here today. Put the move on Bevins and he itching at the lead up there. Two laps to go. Let's see if Bevins gonna make it a late race charge here. Down the back straight away they go. Gonna get the white flag next time by. Bevin stuffs her into turn number three, trying to make up some ground as they exit number four. Kurt Brady watching that second place rider. Nah, he ain't gonna get it done. That KTM machine of Ivan Carl has got him covered. And here comes Ivan for the final time out of turn number four. 36, Ivan Carl wins it. Great run there. 57, Kurt Brady, second place. And, uh, Mr. Holtshot, Walt Bevins comes home third. All right, great racing, folks. 50-plus class. Give it up. Right number 36, Ivan Carl brings on the checkers. Hard charger, Kurt Brady, comes home second. And Mr. Holshot himself, Walt Bevins, third place. All right, next up, we've got some youth quad main event for you. Lane Fussell on the two, the 20 of Emily Fussell, and Stella Ponce on that number 13. Oh, wait, where's Stella? No, wait. Where's Lane? Okay, it's Emily and Stella. All right, Emily Fussell on the 20, Stella Ponce on the 13. Looks like Emily grabs the early lead. Emily Fussell out of Archer, Florida. Looking solid on the quad.
And one lap to go for Miss Emily Fussell, the Archer Florida rider on the DRR. Looking solid out there at number 20. White flag in the air. Good run there by Stella Ponce on that number 13 DRR. Hard on the gas out there for you. But it's all about Emily Fussell tonight as she brings home the checkered flag. Great job, Emily. Hey, we ain't even close. Oh, yeah, we're on race five out of 22. Yeah. Don't wait up. <laughs> Okay, love you. Okay, bye. All right, great job there. Emily Fussell on the number 20 machine. Your main event winner. And also a big congrats goes out to Miss Stella Ponce on the number 13, comes home second. All right, race number six coming up for you. Open novice. Daniel Wallace on the line on the number 627, the 21 of Hayden Labar, James Rowland on the 369, the 81 of Chris Roberts, the 9C of Shane Britt, and Tracy Beck on the number two. And we are off and running. Hayden Labar with a good hole shot and the lead as they come out of two, working their back straight away. Hey, Lamar on that Husqvarna, doing a solid job out there. He's got company that looks like Daniel Wallace in that 627. I'll double check up as they come by. And that is Wallace on that 627. Right number 369 and the 81 are going at it hard and heavy. That 369, we're talking about James Rowland and the 81 of Chris Roberts. Meanwhile, back to the lead, it is Lamar. And Lamar's got company the 627. Take a look on the outside. Coming out of four. No, can't get it done. Hayden Labar holding off Daniel Wallace. Working that back straight away. The Husqvarna is looking pretty solid out there. Hayden Labar, good entry speed in turn number three. 627 creeps up a little bit, but he can't get it done as they come out of four. Hayden Labar, your leader. Daniel Wallace on that 627, your second place rider. Taking a look on the high side of say exit number two. Still can't make up any ground on Hayden Labar on the 21. Now he makes up a little bit of ground as they enter turn number three. But it looks like Lamar gets a better bite coming out of four. Halfway flags out. It looks like we got about three to go on this one, folks. Right at number 21, Lamar coming out of number four. Still leading it. 627 of Daniel Wallace still in that second spot. And now rider number 81 has emerged as your third place rider. That's Chris Roberts. Two laps to go for Hayden Lamar on that number 21, Husqvarna. Coming up on a little bit of lap traffic. Don't know if that's gonna be a problem for the 21. The 627 actually is Drifted back a little bit there in that second spot, so he's looking a little distant. Lamar with some breathing room there, right at number 81. Meanwhile, still holding on to that third spot. That's Chris Roberts. And the checkered flag waves. A great run by the Husqvarna rider, Hayden Lamar.
Daniel Wallace on the 627, good second place finish there. And right at number 81, Chris Roberts on the 81, comes home third. Great run there by Chris. All right, a great run there. Rider number 21, look at him, flag to flag victory for Hayden Labar. Daniel Wallace, boy, he charged hard, couldn't quite get it done, but it was a great race in there out of the number 627 machine. Daniel Wallace comes home second, and how about that 81 machine? Had to fight back from fifth, comes home third, makes the podium, good run there by the 81 of Chris Roberts. All right, next up, the Vintage Open Class, ladies and gentlemen. Brian Anderson on the 33. We got the 71D of Brian Long, the 90B of Thomas Cercello, Aaron Worthington on the 47, Ward Jones on that 66, Moda Guzzi, Trevor Quell on the 44, I think he's on a Honda. Joe Calavito's here on that Honda. Deluxe Jr. also on a board of Honda. Jeremy Lanier, two-stroke Honda. Mike Ellers here, last time we saw him, it was a Harley on the number 83, and Rusty Carvalho on the number 97. Right at number 17, lead him down. That's long on that vintage Yamaha. Just behind him is the Deluxe Machine and in the third place. We're double checking that number. That looks like the 44. Trevor Quayle with a good run out there for you. Leader screaming by the start finish line. What a good mix of Yamaha, Harley Davidson, and vintage Honda here on the racetrack for you. Here comes that number 17 machine, hard charging, and he's got some company. Battle for the lead, looks like rider number 13, or check that 33, Anderson, making his presence known out there. Look at these guys battle out of the back straight away. The 33, the 71, and the 44 going at it hard and heavy as Brian Anderson on 33, the 17, of Brian Long on that 44 machine, Trevor Quayle. And we've got a red flag situation here. Got a rider down. Coming out of two. It looks like he's up and okay. Just had to get the bike off him there.
All right, let's get things settled in here. Before we went red over there, the number 33 was having one well of a run out there, come up and overtook your early leader there on the 17, Brian Long. Looks like everybody's up and okay there on the back straightaway, so we're gonna go back to racing here. Rider number 47 on the Harley Davidson, Aaron Worthington. Having a good early race right out here. And right by Ray Deluxe, not bad there on the 88. Or check that, the 8C. I'll get it right, Ray. Gets the whole shot. Long taking it way up high to turn number three, and then opens the door for the 33. Brian Anderson grabs the lead back. Here comes Long looking on the outside. Long battling at a four. Let's see if he can hold him off. And Long with a great job turning into turn number one, and he's holding off that hard charging 33 out there. Here they come out of two. Long on the vintage Yamaha at 33 vintage Honda giving chase. And we're got another problem here. Got a rider down. Okay, looks like we've got a couple of them down here over here. Tough break there coming out of turn number two. Looks like they got tangled up, so uh All right, let's get the ambulance out here ASAP. Need the ambulance out here ASAP. It's 911 it. Check one. Dustin Beatty. Dustin Beatty, if you're here, please come up front.
All right, folks, once again, we're under a red flag condition, a red flag condition here. Issue over there out of turn number two. Looked like we had a couple riders get tangled up over there. And uh, pretty rough looking crash from over on this side. So we are going to be down just for a bit here. Obviously, once again, as you've heard me say it once, I'll say it again. Rider safety is first and foremost. So until we're convinced those cats are taken well care of, we're going to stand down.
get one. All right, folks, good news. Ryder's up and okay. He's up and aware. So that's big. And that was uh, Ward Jones over there, unfortunately, took the spill. The 66 rider, one of our regulars. And so we hope Ward's going to be okay, obviously. But the good news is, is he is up and aware. So. So that's good news. He's up and aware and alert. So he's answering the questions and all that good stuff. So um, a little bit of good news here in the, in the midst of a of a bad situation, so hopefully Ward will be okay. I'm going to double check and get with him. I think that might have been Churchello over there. It got tangled up as well. Uh, we'll talk to Tom a little bit later this evening. Usually he comes up here and has a word with me, so I'll try to get a word with him a little bit later. But the good news is uh, Ward Jones is uh, alert and aware, answering questions down there, so uh, that's good news. Okay, riders, we're going to go ahead and call that race. Obviously, we'll take care of this fallen rider. We'll have to get the next class up here. But the Vintage Open class, uh, race, race number seven, that one is officially in the books. Scoring will no doubt go back to uh, the last completed lap and score it based on that. But obviously, riders, I'm sure you understand, you guys, in race number seven, uh, the situation that uh, we find in front of us. So we're going to have to uh, call that one. And uh, we'll get uh, race number eight up here for you in just a bit. Obviously, once again, taking care of uh, Ward down there first and foremost. But uh, it is good news once again that uh, Ward is um, aware and awake. But uh, we are going to call race number seven. So you guys uh, in race number seven, let's go ahead and uh, call it a day.
have brought, I should have brought my trailer <laughs> and my cot <laughs> and my generator and my heater. <laughs> place on 441 has got some good mud because that's where I'm heading first and foremost. I must be an alcoholic because I like a bunch of beer bottles here. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I'm not close. Okay. I got <laughs> like, damn, y'all need to slow down over there. Shit. <laughs> miss them, Bubba. I'll buy a six-pack. It'll last me a freaking month, if not longer. that free base for a while that shit runs you for a life story <laughs> that'll blow your fucking heart up oh yeah I'm flying here to get this high up shit smoke oh yeah I might <laughs> he's the one who's been looking through my window <laughs> no I know shit. somebody's been looking my window Hola. <laughs> oh Like a day whether you needed it or not, damn it. I mean, that was minimum. Then them bastards got it fucking real easy when they came out with their 18 pack. Thank you. 
still a full board. Right. Even better yet, when they show the starter bus, it's still a full board. We made it halfway through, almost. We already got rid of our little slow ass 50 and our 50 quads, they're gone. trailer I got a 14 foot but I didn't do dual axle it's like fuck why I need to keep four tires up and running I just keep two <laughs> I'll put two spares in it it makes it feel better <laughs> Longer than 14, though. I'd say call that a 16, maybe 18. That's a stud trailer. Nice roof. Check one. All right, let's get race number eight up here, folks. Let's keep uh, those riders that had problems in our thoughts and prayers. Once again, I think Ward's going to be okay down there. He was aware and alert. But uh, had his bell rung there a little bit. I think he was asleep for a little bit longer than we like to see. So they're going to make sure he's going to be okay. All right, folks, Youth Open once again coming up at you. This is race number eight. Jordan Getz, number 10. Brody Hansen on the 99, the 21 of Hayden Labar. Jacob Lepper on the 17. Caden Roberts on the 90, and the number two of Lane Fussell. Get them all lined up up here. All right, race number eight, about ready to get underway here. Youth open, and Gates down, runner number 10 with the whole shot, Jordan Gitz. Lamar in the second place, but he's got some company back there. That looks like Brody. Hanson on the 99, takes a look down low. Let's see if he can get past Lamar, and it looks like he's gonna get it done. But no, Lamar fights back on the outside. 
All right, Brody Hanson now comfortably in that second spot. Meanwhile, in front of the back, Jordan Getz starting to stretch it out a little bit there. We're going to watch that Labar Hanson battle. And it looks like Hanson starting to pull away a little bit from Labar there. That's your top three riders, rider number 17, coming through there in the fourth spot. That's Jacob Lepper. Number 10 machine still holding his own out there. Jordan Getz. He's out of Lutz, Florida. And he's out in front looking good out there. Brody Hanson, number 99 in that second spot. Third place, Hayden Lamar on the four stroke. Two lap flag is out, two to go. And that number 10 is set him up, knocking him down pretty quick out here tonight. Pretty quick lap times by the number 10 machine, Jordan Getz. Him and his Kawasaki setting sail out here for you tonight. And a little bit of a battle brewing there. Back to the back of the back, Jacob Leppard. And the number two, Lane Fussell. Good little race back there for you. Meanwhile, white flag is in the air. Want to go for the number 10 machine as he works his way down the back straight away for the final time. There's that leper fussel battle for you. And right number 10 takes the checker flag, number 99 in that second spot. That's Brody Hansen, third place. Looks like it's going to be Hayden Lamar. All right, race number eight in the books. Rider number 10, Jordan Getz. Rings home the checkered flag. Nice, solid second place finish there by Brody Hansen. And coming home third, Labar, Hayden Labar on the number 21 machine. All right, great run, guys. All right, here comes some Mad Dog. And they better all watch out for Van Rayburn on that 44. He's looking pretty darn racy out here tonight. The rider number 75 is going to come over and do some battle with him. That's Michael Springer. Dave Zeich on that number 50. He's been out there hammering hard today. John Willis on the number 5, 82T of Tim Gunlock. Sam Jensen on the number 31. And Kenneth Steve on the double O. All right, we're ready to go racing. Ooh, a little bit of an inch up there by the number eight machine. All right, keep your eye out. The 44 and the 75 that were pretty racy in moto number one, or check that heat number one. And Van Rayburn, 44, jumps out to an early lead. Michael Springer on the number 75 machine, giving chase. All right, it's Van Rayburn on the number 44, your leader. Michael Springer on the number 75 in that second spot. And David Zyke on the number 50 Honda in the third spot. Leader's coming down the front straight away. Setting him up, knocking him down. And we're going to watch number 50. He's got some company there, rider number eight. It's starting to creep up there a little bit.
It's Van the Man Rayburn, rider number 44 on the Kawasaki KLX up front. Michael Springer, the number 75 Honda, giving chase there. He's in second. He's out of Sarasota, Florida. And it's Dave Zyke still holding off that other Honda just behind him, the number eight machine. And Rayburn's get the two to go. And Rayburn's already starting to lap a couple of riders out there. Looks like one of the old Honda XR 100s, he just went blasting by. Meanwhile, the 75 is starting to lose the leader a little bit there, Michael Springer. He's solid in second place. Now, we're watching that number 50 machine. He's your third place rider. That number eight's right behind him. And it looks like the uh, 31 also in that mix. Rayburn going by to lap them all. Decides to tuck in behind the number eight. And here comes Rayburn, and he's going to win it. Springer comes home in the second spot. Rider number 50, Zyke, comes home in third. All right, Van the Man Rayburn, how about it? Good job there on the 44. Good to see you back here, Van. From four wheels to two, back to four, back to two. That's Van. Springer, nice job, Michael Springer on the 75, comes home second. And Dave Zyke, nice job, Dave, on that 50. It's time for the hooligan class, ladies and gentlemen. Rider number 47 approaches the line on his mighty Harley Davidson. His name is Aaron Worthington. Also on another one of those beastly Harley Davidsons, Mike Eller approaches the line on his number 83 machine. He's out of Newport, Ritchie, Florida. Also easing up to the starting line, Rusty Carvalho on his Harley Davidson. Here comes the number 232 machine. Trevor Quayle. Let's get a look at that machine. And that also is a Harley Davidson. All right, we're off and running. Hooligan Field, Worthington, Eller, Cabello, Quayle, and Jobert on the number eight. 47 to an early lead, but Eller on the 83 says, not so fast, I'm still here. Eller taking a look up on the high side on that Harley Davidson motorcycle. And look here, we've just got a pass for second. It's the man in red. I think that's a 232 of Quail. And yeah, I give Trevor Quail the second spot there. Harley Mania out here at the Bull Ring, ladies and gentlemen. We're live in the Marion County Speedway, we're running a little bit late this evening, but we're still having fun. I hope you are too out there. Work at the hooligan class. Aaron Worthington on the number 47 machine leads it. Mike Eller on that 83 machine was in second, but he had to give it up to the 232 of Trevor Quayle. And Trevor Quayle looking, uh, he's nipping on the leader. The halfway flags are out. The 47, Earl Worthington still leading it. Quail on the 232 in the second spot, right number 83. Mike Eller, big Mike Eller in that third position. Next time by, there'll be two laps to go. Rider number eight coming through there and check it out. 
Rider number 232 is now your new leader. And the man in red working his way up to the front from third to first, just like that. Trevor Quell, 232. Here comes Trevor around to get the white flag. Rider number 47, not wanting to let him go. That's Aaron Worthington, early leader. Well, getting a run, good run down that back straightaway. A little bit of late breaking by the 47 of Worthington as they come out of three for the final time. Now out of four, down the straightaway, and it's going to be rider number 232. Trevor Quell wins it. Eric Worthington in second, and the 83 of Mike Eller comes home third. A great run in the hooligan class, ladies and gentlemen. Harley Davidson Thunder for you. All right, race number 11 coming up for you. This is the 30-plus class. Walt Bevins coming on the line here, number seven machine. I'm going to call him the whole shot kid. He's out of West Melbourne, Florida. Mike Messler's here on the 51 machine out of High Springs, Florida. Brian Anderson been faced fast all night on that 33. He's out of Pinellas Park, Florida. Joseph Giannato is here on the 484 and the 813 of Jeremy Lanier. All right. How about the winners there? Great job there. Trevor Quayle. Aaron Worthington on the 47, second, and third, Big Mike Eller on the 83. All right, folks, 30 plus class, let's go racing. And it's the number seven with a whole shot again. Walt Bevins, the whole shot king. Let's see if he can hold it. Coming out of turn number two, he's got some fast company behind him. That's Mike Messler. And the 484 looks like he's doing a good little bit of late race charging there as well. Jeremy Lanier and Joseph Giannato locked up back there, battling hard for that third spot. Meanwhile, it's the yellow bikes out front. Walt Bevins on the seven and the 51 of Mike Messler. Looks like third place is settled in for now. Jeremy Lanier's got that on the 813 as they all work down the back straightaway. Still the number seven, Walt Bevins. He's looking for a flag to flag win out here in this plus 30 class. Walt on that retro scheme Yamaha just behind him. Looks like the same thing with Mike Bessler. Once again, it's a two-bike breakaway. Bevins on the seven, Metzler on the 51. And Metzler's closing that gap. Metzler starting to take a peek on the outside as they come out of two. And the leader gets a little loose, and Metzler gains some ground. And Metzler's going to take a look down low in three. Still low, still there. Metzler not giving an inch. Here they come side by side. And Metzler, your new leader with two to go. Let's see if Bevins can battle back. He's only got a little bit of real estate to do it. And it looks like Messler is going to beat him to the white flag. One lap to go. And it looks like the seven didn't get a good bite coming out of two. That's going to cost him, it looks like. Messler coming down up a run straight away for the final time. He's going to win it on the 51. Right at number seven, Bevins comes home second. 
Third place going to be the 813 of Jeremy Lanier. All right, great race in there. Mike Metzler on the 51, got it done there. Mid-race pass to get the win, good run there. Walt Bevins, right at number seven Q, the whole shot kid, comes home second, and a great run there by Jeremy Lanier. Race number 12 coming up for you, it's our 65cc class, Brody Hansen on the line on the number 99. Julian Padilla is here on the number eight machine out of Lutz, Florida. It's a KTM. Wheeler Messler here on the number 51. Jacob Lepper on the 17, the 24 of Joshua Pierce. And Lane Fussell on that number two machine. All right, Gates down. Right at number 51 with a good whole shot there. That four stroke showing some power, but not enough for the two bangers as they come out of turn number two. It's one of the green machines up at the front. All right, the number 99, Brody Hansen up at the front. The four stroke Kawasaki Messler in the second spot. They're rolling through there. And a nice battle between Leper on the. Uh, 17 and Lane Fussell on that two for position. All right, Leper looks like he's trying to make the move there on the 51. Grab himself a second spot as they come by almost three wide there. Good racing here in race number 12. Julian Padilla up in that mix. And here they come again, 17 on the high side, 51 down in the middle, and here comes the eight down on the inside. Padilla racing hard out there. Looks like Padilla gets a better bike coming out of two. He's going to make the pass on Weller meets, uh, Wheeler Metzler, the 51 machine. There's Lane Fussell coming through there, having a good run on his ride. Number 99, going to get the two to go next time by. Looks like he's cutting out a pretty good race pace here. Brody Hanson, we're talking about on that 99 machine. And Brody gets the two to go with the 99 KX. Look at this battle, rider number eight. Showing some strength here. Julian Padilla, some late race charging here by Padilla, and he's got some company, though. That's Jacob Lepper on the 17, one of the locals. There they go, side by side, down into turn number three. A good racing here between the KTM and the Kawasaki. We're talking about the 17 and the number eight machine. White flags out, want to go to settle this one. 99 comes through for the win. Good job there by Brody Hansen. Now look at this battle. This is the battle for a second. Here they come. Watch them close. And it looks like Padilla's going to nip Leper at the line. All right, give it up, Brody Hanson. Good job there, rider number 99, the Denellan, Florida rider, getting it done out here first place. Nice run here by the number eight machine, Julian Padilla. Several classes out here tonight, always up front. Good job coming home in second. And how about Leper? He had a good battle there going with Padilla there. Just come up a tad short, but still gets the podium. Third place. All right, Coy Sprinkle coming up to the line on the 94. 
Gabrielle De Silva on the 444. Hayden LaBoy on that number 21. Joseph Giannato pull, pull it up there. Daniel Wallace on the 627. 81 of Chris Roberts. Thomas Turcello Jr. Let's see if he's on that 813. <coughs> Excuse me. And Shane Britt on the number 9C. This is our open amateur. All right, got a staller there on the line. Coy Sprinkle there. All right, and Sprinkle gets the whole shot there, right at number 94, Corey Sprinkle. Looks like the Silva got a good start there on that 444 machine as well. In that second spot, and there's that 627 of Daniel Wallace in the third spot. So, Coy, your leader, sprinkle up front there. Just behind him is the 444 machine. That's Gabriel Da Silva. And a good job there also by our good friend and a fast rider, number 627, Wallace. All right, nice battle up front here, and it's for the lead, the 94 machine. Sprinkle trying to hold off the 444 of De Silva. De Silva takes a look down low, coming out of two, can't get the bite he needs. Coy Sprinkle coming down on the high side, out of four. Still at the point. Oh, and a little bit of slip there by your leader. Let's see if the second place rider can get a bite. No, this still happened. 94 of Sprinkle still holding on to that lead. Sprinkle a little high, coming out of four. But the 444 can't do anything with him. Gabriel De Silva still back there in second. Third place, good run there by Hayden Lamar on the Husqvarna. He's out of Orange Park, Florida. Coming by, it's a two to go for the 94 machine. Coy Sprinkle. Gabriel De Silva in that second spot. Hayden Lamar in third on that 21 machine. White flags in the air. The 94 and the 444 going at it hard and heavy. One lap to settle this one. And the 94, Sprinkle, final time out of back straight away into turn number three. Out of four he comes, Coy Sprinkle, rider number 94, going to bring home the checkered flag of the open amateur. De Silva, 444, comes home second. Third spot, good run by the Husky rider, Hayden Lamar. All right, nice run there. Open amateur class in the books, race number 13. All right, great job there. Coy Sprinkle, rider number 94, your first place rider. The 444, Gabriel De Silva, second place, and Hayden Labar, nice job in third. And Coy, I got your name right. All right, next up, 60 plus class. Out of Hinesville, Georgia, Ken Davis coming up to see us on the number 17. Jerry Lacey's just beside him. Says he's gonna be on the bull taco on the 44. 
Larry Davis is here on the number 62 machine. Michael Springer on the number 75. Dave Gabbard on the 93. The 44B of Carl Nabinger. Tim Gunlock on the 82 machine out of Melbourne Beach, Florida. And winding on the field, John Calavito on the 18. This is the 60 plus class. Race number 14, ladies and gents. Let's go racing 60 plus class. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right number 93 with some problems out there. That's Dave Gabbert. Gabbert's still trying to fight it to get it neutral so he can at least start kicking it. All right, Gabbert's alive and well. The 93 is up and running. All right, the Bull Taco's ready to go. All right, 44 off to the penalty box, 60 plus class getting ready to go. 17 and the 62 come out of there pretty hot and heavy. That's Larry Davis on the 62 and Ken Davis on the 17. Looks like the 93 Gabbert with a good start there in third. 17, 62 and the 93, that's how they run. Davis, Daves and Gabbert. 44, Jerry Lacey there in the fourth spot. He's got company. Matter of fact, not any longer. He just got passed by the 75 machine, but he's trying to fight back. That was Springer got down under him over there. Back to the leaderboard. It's still the 17 of Ken Davis. Larry Davis on the 62 in second spot. Dave Gabbert on at 93 in third. and 62 going at it hard and heavy 93 still give a chase in third looks like the number 17 machine of Ken Davis can get on the gas a little bit sooner out of turn number two over there and that's making up the difference here they come down the front straight away lamp starting to wind down Davis better get busy if he wants to get it on Davis A little bit of quicker corner entry speed there by your second place rider. All right, two laps to settle it. The Hinesville, Georgia rider, Ken Davis, holding on to that lead, but he's got some company back there. It's the 62 of Larry Davis. White flag this time by. They're running nose to tail. Oh, the 62 takes a look down low. Can he get a bite on the 17 machine? No, got a lapper coming up in front of him. Let's see if he can squeeze past the Bull Taco. And the lap rider could come into play as rider number 62 gets a bite down on the inside there. I don't know how to call that one. That one was so close. Thank God for scorekeepers. The 17 and the 62 were too close for me to call. We'll just have to see how they roll them up to the cards. That was a close one, ladies and gentlemen. The last lap there, they uh, ran into the 44 and Bull Taco there and had to split them coming out of four. And they come by here side by side. And quite frankly, I'm not sure who won.
Now I'm sure who won. The 62 did nip him in the line. So Larry Daves comes home victorious in the 60-plus class. Ken Davis, your early leader, 17 machine. He comes home second in the 93 machine. Dave Gabbert, third place. All right, race number 15, Jordan Getz on the line there on the number 10. He's alongside Jacob Lepper on the 17. Brody Hansen on the 99, the 51 of Wheeler Metzler. Hayden LaBoy on the 21. Trenton Rivera on that 3R. Julian Padilla on the number 8. The number 2 of Lane Fussell. Alan Pierce on the number 11. The number 90 of Caden Roberts. It's your lineup, race number 15, folks. Let's get them Pro-Am singles down there. Pro-Am singles. You're up next. All right, we're ready to go racing, 85cc class. Lamar with a good start, but not quite good enough. It looks like Jordan gets nipped him into turn number one. Here they come in the exit turn number two. We're clean and green. Whoa, we got a rider that stalled, and we're going to have to restart this one. Missed it by that much. All right, Alan Pierce with some problems there. Stalled at the line, so we're going to have to get this one. Make sure his gas is on. again and oh tough break Lamar I think he missed the gear that led the 99 and Brody Hansen jumped right up there to second place but guess who's up front it's Jordan Getz on the number 10 Brody Hansen giving chase there in that second spot once again and he's trying to hold on to the leader there third place Lamar coming through there so it's Getz Hansen and Lamar running one two and three And check it out. Hansen's grabbed the lead there on the number 99. Hansen floats right at number two there down the back straight away. And check him out. The number 99 machine of Hansen leading the 85cc class. Jordan Getz on the number 10 machine trying to give chase. And Lamar in that third spot running strong. Halfway flags out. It's still Hanson, you're on the number 99 machine out of Danellan, Florida on the Kawasaki. Just behind him, Jordan Gates on the number 10 machine. In that third spot, a little bit further back is Hayden Lamar. Leaders run into a lapper there on the 11 machine. Looks like they come by him clean and green there. But Hansen did close the gap a little bit on the leader there, or should I say, gets closed the uh, gap a little bit on the leader. 
two laps to settle this one. Rider number 99 looking solid out here tonight, Brody Hansen. Jordan Getz on the number 10 machine, trying to reel him in. And he's got one lap to do it. And the 99 lost a little bit of bite out of two, but not enough to cause any trouble. It looks a good for Brody Hansen. Brody coming out of turn three, the exit of number four, and he's going to win it. Brody Hansen. Checkered flags on the number 99 machine. Jordan Getz comes home in second, and a good run there by the 21 machine, the four stroke of Hayden Lamar. All right, give it up. Good run there by the number 99 machine. Brody Hanson brings home the first place spot in the 85cc class. Jordan Getz, rider number 10. What a heck of a run by the number 10 machine. He comes home second and third to the mighty four stroke of Hayden Lamar. What you're looking for. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring out a little speed here for you. This is our final event of the evening. And so we decided to run some of the fast boys up here for you. Man, there's been fast folks in every class, but this one's stuffed probably a little bit deeper than most. This is our Pro-Am singles class. Brandon Robinson on the line, national number 44. Greg Boyle, number 27C out there. They're 163 of Dallas Daniels. Trevor Quell in the 55, the 72 of Dominic Davids, Mike Messel in the 51, the 94 of Coy Sprinkle, the 150 of Jacob Copes, and Gabriel De Silva on the 444. All right, folks, there he is, front number 44, gets the early old shot here. They just say storming in turn number one is BR44, Brandon Robinson. And look at him, stack four wide, coming out of two. Robinson dives down low into three. Man, look at the tight race that we got going in. This Pro-Am singles class is a good one. Robinson in the front. Dallas Daniels in the number 193 in that second spot. And look at that number third place, the three, third place machine is one of the Hondas. Is that Greg Boyle? We'll double check it. Yes, Greg Boyle in the third spot. So it's Robinson, Daniels, and Boyle running up front. And Robinson starting to run way up front. Brandon Robinson. Starting to dance away pretty good there. The first three starting to spread out a little bit. Dallas Daniels, that second place rider. Holding his own there. Boyle in the third spot. The battle for fourth looks hot. Rider number 55 running hard and heavy for you. Him in the 72 of Davids. Robinson getting the halfway flag. Rest of the field screams by. It's still Brandon Robinson, rider number 44, national number 44 in the lead. Dallas Daniels on the number 163, Yamaha in second. And Greg Boyle on the number 27, Honda in third. Solid run there tonight by Trevor Quell on that 55 machine. Got to give him kudos. He's been out there running multiple classes and doing a whale of a job. But class of the field tonight, no doubt about it. It's the man in orange. Rider number 44, Brendan Robinson. Wheels right of turn number three in the exit, turn number four, feet on the pegs, hard on the gas. Two laps to go, BR44 in the front. Daniel 163 still in second, and it's Boyle in third. 
White flag waves. Here comes BR44 for the final time as he enters turn number one. Robinson takes a look over his shoulder. He's got a full straightaway lead. So here he comes. Brandon Robinson, rider number 44, checkered flag. Dallas Daniel, second place. Third, Greg Boyle. Fourth place, the number 72 of Derek David, Dominic David. Well, hello, Nelly. What a race. How about that? That's worth staying up late for. Big hats off, ladies and gentlemen. Here he is, National 44, and your winner of the Pro-Am Singles event, Brendan Robinson. Second place, a solid run all night. Dallas Daniels on that number 163 Yamaha. And third place, this guy is timeless. How about it for Greg Boyle? All right, great racing down here. Ladies and gentlemen, what a way to end a fine evening of racing. We did have a little bit of problem there, but I think all our riders are going to be okay. We hope the best for Ward. I congratulate all you winners, all you riders, and I'll tell you what, great showing in every class is Brandon's taking the victory lap. All right, a little bit of spodiote there by your winner. Squid riding, baby. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much. I'm John Vitas. It's been great having you up here with us tonight. Hope you enjoyed the racing. Please drive safe. It's Saturday night. There's some crazier people out there than you. Good night, everybody. <laughs>